Whoa. Are we good now? Are we good now? I hope we're good now. I think we're good now. Hey, everyone, base. <laughs> Welcome back. Sorry, had to drop stream a couple times. OBS was freaking the heck out. So, uh, we were going to be playing uh, Back for Blood today, uh, but some friends, we had to cancel out. So, couldn't do that, which is fine. We'll check out Act 6 and the new cleaner and all the other crazy stuff that's happening. Uh, probably, that, that's like a good weekend game. We'll check that out. But I decided I'm going to jump back on to Pyre here because this game is very intriguing. Also, you know what? Uh, I forgot to turn on or turn snap cam back on. Let's see. Uh, turn on snap cam. Shit. I'm not supposed to do that. I'm not supposed to turn it on until afterwards. Shit. Hold on a minute. Yep. 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 I'm frozen. Because I did it out of order. I apologize. I apologize. Sorry, OBS. I know you hate when I do that. Excuse me. Okay, now I gotta close snap cam because it's a turd. Start it back up. Cross your fingers. Hey, we back. There we go. All right, turn on snap cam. Really? Okay, we're we're learning more about the the streamer bot. It's every time I stop stream. I have to start and stop the voice listen, even though auto start is on. It's very weird. Turn on snap cam. Turn on snap cam. Why? Oh, there it goes. It was enabled. I was just uh, misreading because I'm good at this. Anyway, um, no, I don't want to close the streamer bot. I wish you could just like, you, you know, current programs. You can be like, I'm going to click. Oh, it's coming through the right audio channel this time. Amazing. Um, you can like set an option to say if I close this, it just minimizes it down to the tray. Wish you could do that. But nope. Alright. Oh, I closed chat. Whoops. My bad. I was like, why is there only two tabs here? No, 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 no. I don't want to hear myself. No, stop. Oh, so close. Why are you taking so long to open chat, computer? Please hold. Um, where's pop out chat? There it is. Boop. Sweet. We're good. We're dandy. We're fantastic. All right. Cool. Um, let's I can kick off again. This game was very interesting. Um, it's. It's like 80% dialogue. Maybe more than that. But it's okay. Is this gonna be the same thing? Oh yeah, because she's uh Okay, this is Hedwin. Um yep, 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 we did this. Something less awkward. We did realize that like she didn't like like him. It's funny. What's up, Bruiser? Welcome to the stream! This was done by the Hades dudes. Yeah, super giant. All right. We are caught up. Um, sorry, I got to remember how to game. Oh, it's so nice that it's going through its own audio channel now. Amazing. Also got to keep an eye open on my, my settings over there, because OBS has been freaking out lately, and it's really obnoxious. How you doing, Rooster? Welcome to the stream. The North Current passes by old carcasses of ships long gone. Rookie spotted wreckage is there. He believes there could be valuables. The Froth Sea. Storm wall brims with large sea creatures. Ooh, Kizo seems very eager to see the wagon head in this direction. Why? Let's go this way. Large siege creatures. Am I going to get jumped? Just chilling a bit before work? Nice. Did you get a, a good nap in today? The MTZO has much, has been much more animated even than usual. 
All right, I have voices for them. What is the little wrong voice, bro? Oh, oh no, it didn't save my voices. Shit. Well, that fucking sucks. Um, it didn't save my voice settings. Damn it. I mean, it makes sense because I, I switched my voice settings earlier. And I uh, forgot that it would just drop the things I had. It's fine. It's fine. What is it, little one? Oh, God. This is... This is terrible. I don't remember what these were set as. There was something like this and that and this. And this was Jodario. She had a, a little bit of a pitch downward. There. I'm hoping I get it close. Kizo seems to think something very delicious is in, the, is in these waters. He keeps on screeching. I don't think I've ever seen him like this. Wait, what is he? Just then, Tizo dives into the waters and vanishes into the depths. He can swim? Oh, I hope he can swim. He can, but he appears a crestfallen. Wait, what? But he appears crestfallen when he finally returns his claws empty. Aw, oh, he's sad. Gonna be tired tonight? Uh oh. Tizo was very disappointed that whatever he attempted to catch eluded him. Is there a fishing in this game? Ray begins to sob uncontrollably, the two reveling each other's misery for a time. Ray is very. Empathetic. Oh, come on, man. That's not my fault. Well, she's back to neutral because she gained one. Uh, with our little discussion earlier. You and your companions look upon the deadless or deathless tempest. Oh, yeah. The stars demand you sail beyond it, yet the very thought of it is beyond reason. Then something in the nearby water stirs, and from it springs something familiar. Hey, it's Gilman! Old good ladies and good sirs, this knight beseech you to hear him, if you please. You can join our team? I hope this is close. What is it now, you worm? The rites were ended. We have no further need of you. I think that was... The pitch might... How was that? I don't know, something like that. Oh, but you do! And in turn, this knight has further need of you, good lady. Out with it, then. Let us be joined! Let this knight join you, please! Can you believe this headwind? Not really, no. Nay, look ye not so... Yet. Nay, look ye not so surprised! Your valor in the rites did stir this poor knight's soul. He swears to you, upon his long ho lost honor as a would-be knight errant of the sea dominion, and he shall serve you to the end. What about your own worm friends back there? The Pyhards. They are base cowards! This knight can no longer abide such spineless characters, having witnessed true glory in our clash upon the Hulk of Oars. Never before have we been trounced so thoroughly. And furthermore, this knight shall aid your passage through the Deathless Tempest. It is not so that you seek passage to the north. With this knight's aid, you shall achieve your wish. So Gilman continues to persuade you for some quite some time. He seems to know a way to cross the storm, some sort of long-held secret among worms exiled to these waters. Jar pulls the rest of you aside after Hedwin gives her a look. Are you the most sure that Sandalwood would want this thing along? Mostly sure. Sandalwood wants someone for each mask. And this one seems about as good as we're going to get. Jodario, Jodario lowers back at the worm. Flowers? Back at the worm, who tries his best to look presentable. Edwin is more gracious. He tells Sir Gilman that if he promises to help you cross the Deathless Tempest, then he can come along for now. This knight is overjoyed! And he hereby swears to you to see you pass the storm! Look at that heart emoji for his eyeball. So first, this knight requires your consent. Give unto this knight your blessing in the name of the knight wings, and thus shall he go forth. Sir Gilman seems to be asking permission for something. Tentatively agree to whatever he's asking for so you can get on with it already. It's not clear to you as to what exactly Sir Gilman intends to do for you right now. Yeah, beg pardon? As you begin to say something in response, Sir Gilman cries out in triumph. Oh, shit. Did I fuck up? He vanishes into the depths. Yet, 
through this close encounter with him, you cling to some sense of where he's going and what he intends to do. Sir Gilman is determined to help you across the Deathly Tempest. Help him... Help see his mission through, okay? Sir Gilman has an aura trail that extends behind him. Press blah to snap to the end of the trail. Oh. That's how those guys were, like, zip-bopping around. Okay. I get it. Determined to prove himself to you in the Nightwing, Sir Gilman emerges somewhere in the outer reach of the Sea of Solace and calls out to you. Master Reader! If you can hear this knight, then he implores you now. Lend him your guidance. This knight's objective ought to be not far east of here. Today, we shall bring peace to the embroiled sea. Know, however, that the, among this knight's brethren, the actions we are about to take are highly forbidden. But they are highly just. It's so goofy. That Sir Gilman sends forth to quell the storm that rages to the north. How? Traverse the reef. Slither. Oh! Slash. Neat. Hop. Shinies. Hark! Yonder lie the foul spawn of unfathomed plans, boiling the seas with their wrath. The sea titan, once slain by the scribe under King Ors, her brood lies dormant in the sea. Tales of her monstrosity long spread across the world. Exiled worms within these waters long have harbored these abominations, using them to bar passes through the downside channels for any save this night. <laughs> Wait, what? Did I, was I reading that? Through the downside channels for any save this night's own kind. Oh. Be gone now from here, fiends! This night shall finish what the under king Ors started. Seventh of the eight scribes of the Book of Rites, known as the Persevering. The legendary, legendary leader of the worms under sea crusade sought to reach the edge of the abyss. Banish the foul spawn. Who's the who's the spawn? Is it the bubbles? We're popping the bubbles? Is that is that what we're doing? I'll pop some bubbles. I like popping bubbles. Hey, there we go. did it. He doesn't like bubbles. He's anti-bubble. Uh-oh. Hold him right there, you traitor slug. How dare you turn back on this night? You're superior. Superior by rank no longer. For we no longer serve the commonwealth. Last this night checked. Here you hold your sw no sway over this night. Uh, and... What have you done to the spawn? Have you no honor left at all? This knight has done that which required doing. His honor cannot sink much lower anyhow. He figured this would be an ideal time to free himself from the servitor to you. Why you? You dare to staunch the tempest for those night wings? Good sir, Deluge. Deluge, there it is. This knight was born to dare. Now come. Fight this knight if you so dare as well. Ah, Fireheart, banish him. This is an order. At me, bros. Whee. It's like playing snake. Ah, it actually is playing snake. This is amazing. No more. What now, sir Deluge? I can't say his name with his accent. Shall you not face this nice yourself and leave the dirty work unto your charges? Fine, Gilman. You, you wish to stand against your commander, then have it your way. Sir Marsh, Lady Seagrass, me banish this, this troublemaker. Sir Marsh is a worm knight duty bound to serving Sir Deluge and the Pyre Hearts. Lady Seagrass is a worm knight duty bound. Oh, same thing. Remember, dudes. We. Yep, chase me. Chase me. Easy clap. You are a master of this night no longer, Sel Deluge. Deluge. Del I, can I cannot say his name. 
the shatter our fraternal bonds. This knight would say it was an honor serving you, sir. Deluge. Deluge. Del Del Fuck you, word. But that would be a bald-faced lie, and yet another stain upon his blackened reputation. Until we meet again! Wait, you loyally trailer! This night, we'll have your head, Gilman! Sir Gilman's aura slash fires instantly when you press, whereas most exiles have to charge up their attack. Uh huh. As the day wears on, there is still no sign of the Worm Knight. Your companions grow restless, but then. Hey, old! This knight returns with newfound tales to tell and new scars to show for them. So Gilman is sopping wet and visibly shaken. He struggles to maintain decorum. He is, in short, the very image of a worm knight. And more importantly, that little temple is no longer pose a threat for now. Behold! As if on cue, the deathless tempest begins to simmer and subside. Nice. Well done, dude. There we go. There's a Jada. Would you look at that? He really did it. Of course this knight did it. Now, if it would be alright with you, this knight could really use some shut eye. He has one eye. The worm knight then collapses in exhaustion. You and Hedwin help him up. A deal's a deal, Sir Gilman. Welcome to the Night Wings. Huzzah! Welcome to the stream. There's a cookie for you. There's a cookie for you. Okay, for you. How you doing, friend? Oh, welcome, welcome. So, Gilman, join the group. He also revealed the path north for you. Nice. Bid him welcome. Uh, Sir Gilman revealed a gap in the storm. Seems safe to traverse. Excuse me. Ooh. Are those rocks jutting out or are those giant crystals? With Sir Gilman's aid, he managed to breach the Tempest. You were true to your word, Worm. I shall give you that. But now what? We are stranded in this cursed storm. A most excellent question! And from one most fair. Call me that once more and I shall tie you in a knot. I like Jodario. Ah, and from one most spirited as well. This knight was wise to side with ye. He's like the dude in Game of Thrones, which I only know because of the memes. I never made it that far in the boat or in the, uh, the show. Just where do we turn from here? Answer the question now. <laughs> Sir Gilman does no such thing, although eventually he does make note of specific current that should lead you to the lands beyond. I was going to ask you about uh, your interview, but I didn't know if you wanted that to be public knowledge. So I was just going to message you later. Nervous? I'm sure you're going to do great. No. Just breathe. De deep breaths. You'll do great. Otherwise, you're chilling. I'm doing just fine as well. Uh, had a bit of a fight with OBS uh, right at stream start, but hopefully it's okay now. If I may, I can corroborate Sir Gilman's account. We are close to making landfall. Then let me be the first to say, let's go. You're on the verge of sailing across the Sea of Solus. Voyage onward. Um, say, uh, Tariq? Hey, Rookie. What's up? What is this? That Lujo is coming around. You know how to play the thing, don't you? Why, I suppose. So, wow, suppose, suppose I do. Good. Because I was thinking it's a little gloomy here and we could use a little tune to lighten up the moon. Know what I mean? Moon? I cannot speak. Hi! Oh, wait, wrong voice. Hi. Then let me see what I can do. Oh, he played music for us. We're gonna pause. Is that uh, Orpheus's voice? From Hades. Gonna apply to other places to shape your resume? Nice. Was shown a resume builder? There's... Really? That's that's kind of cool. 
I had to refresh my resume a few months ago just to, to reapply for my position because the contract was changing. That was annoying. Will he keep playing if I click on the black basin? I'm worried about that. Let's see. Claims the downs downsides northern landmass should just be on these waters. Okay, he still keeps playing. Cool. Oh. Stain on the place, the tempest never dies. Her final throws and shivers and shakes a thousand years gone by. I don't think it is Orpheus, it's resume builder and job tracker, so you can see app process and such. Super helpful with staying organized. Oh, that's cool. At last, your wagon rumbles onto solid, jagged ground, the land called Black Basin. Your fellow exiles unpack the wagon so you can take stock of how best to reach your destination. Black gas, searing vapor, and strangling forests mark the forsaken lands that loom across the sea. The eight scribes first discovered this a northern landmass of the downside. The surroundings. Hey! Oh. Is that your little rest? <laughs> you approach Sir Gilman, who must have just finished practicing his fencing maneuvers. He regards you with his single eye. Hail, Master Rita! This knight is determined to train harder, having joined the famous Nightwings. He shall ensure that this triumph orbit continues to live up to its most feared reputation. This is such an honor! And this knight has a great deal of honor to regain! Having fled the Pie Hearts, this knight fully expects now to conduct the rites in a most honorable fashion. Do the fullest letter of the law described within the books. Oh, that's not good because I try to break them. What's up, Yuri? Welcome to the stream. Get a cookie for you. Get a cookie for you. Get it. Who's stream boss? I don't remember who the stream boss is. Hold on a minute. It's Yuri. Ha ha ha. You're hanging on by a thread. I knew I would check. Hold on a minute. There goes Murr. On hill stream boss. He's still standing. Bloodied but unbound. Welcome to the stream, my dude. Appreciate you popping in. Some triumphants this night has met and... Oh, wait. This is him taking some triumphants... Triumvirates this knight has met and perchance mentioned by name. They are inclined to bend the rules a bit, sometimes a lot, and to prevail by any means they can. But this is wrong! The exile who refuses to obey the rules as they were written by the under King Ors and his seven friends deserves neither his honor nor his freedom. Okay, well, you're gonna go sit in the back then. Under King Ors. Yeah, we know that. Thusly does this knight have confidence the master reader shall resist any temptations to conduct the rites in any underhanded fashion. Now, then, this knight must undergo thorough cleansing, having trained until the point of a foulness. So, please excuse him, master reader. He slithers off, humming some sort of chivalrous tune. Official certification of knighthood in the commonwealth, offsought by worm knights. Okay, well, that's not glowing, so I don't think I can use it. Did I get my teeth kicked in last night? Yep. Yeah, Birch came in and... Or, well, Pancake came in with a sub, and then Birch came in with a crap ton of bits and just did a wallop on your face. You find that Hedwin has asked for several volunteers to scout the area and report back. All right, everyone. Don't go too far. And let's sneak... Let's meet back by dusk. Please, use caution. The exiles dwelling in these lands are, well, rather territorial. For your part, you remain with the black wagon to keep watch. You see occasional dark shapes soaring across the sky, but none of them draw near enough for you to see in any detail. Cookie time. 
Eventually, your companions make oh, their way back, and everyone arrives as planned earlier. Speaking of pancake, what's going on, my friend? How what? You had to get up early, right? How was uh your early get upage? Yeah, yeah, cool for you. Get up and oh, where is it? Crunch, crunch, and then immediate go back to sleep. It sucked ass. Did you did you get off late too? Because that would suck. It's friend. Hi everyone, I'm back. I've come back. Ray returns from the east with little to report, save for the word for word that the glowing molten rock here is very, very hot. I love her. She's precious. This night yet lives! Although he has little else to report. The newest member of the group, Sir Gilman, returns from a northern pass, visibly shaken. He appears to have discovered an intense fear of heights. I love Chizo. Chizo wonders whether any species of fish lives in the pools or rock nearby. The little imp Tizo seems disappointed to have left the water behind. He remains with you near to the wagon. There is a western path that seems traversable. If we travel by the light of dawn, the shadows and the crags may very well cover our advance against whomever may be watching. Begging your pardon, I do not wish to contradict, contradict your strategy, madame, though in my experience we shall not remain hidden for long during the climb toward the nest of Triesta. Triesta? According to the stars, the next right. Oh. The exiled harp matriarch. The exiled harp matriarch lived in solitude among these very cliffs. The exiles. Oh, this is you. The exiles of the high wing rem remnants. You may. You may have no love for them inherently, but they have no such qualms with me for now. I may be able to negotiate self safe passage. The last surviving faction of the winged harps. The ancient enemies of the commonwealth. They are as coarse as their feathers. They hold themselves superior. Negotiate with them. Then Hedwin simps in as the lone minstrel bows and backs away. Hey, let's not decide on this just yet. We're not going anywhere right now. That much we can agree on. We'll decide how best to go ahead come morning. For now, let's take the rest of the afternoon and get our bearings. Jodario glares at the sky as everyone else disperses. Yeah, vocation time. I'm gonna need people to get manners real quick before mine are non-existent. Oh no! <laughs> One of those days, huh? Forge for resources, mentor, companion. This is the one I wanted to do, right? Yeah. You excuse yourself from the others to go pour over the Book of Rights and its mysteries. Through greater understanding comes the reader's influence. We're super fast, the eight scribes who, who composed the book. Their influence and their experience spread through the pages into the willing reader's deepest consciousnesses. Inspiration comes to you in a flash, whether from the book or from within, you cannot tell. Hell yeah. Super fast. Ooh. Jordario wishes to avoid the harps by staying on low ground. The Lone Minstrel believes he can negotiate safe path passage with the Harps via this path. I want to go fight them, but I like Jodario, so we'll go her way. Uh oh. The shattered lands of Black Shore prove difficult to traverse for the Black Wagon. The low road of the nest of Triesta passes through razor sharp sands. The land beyond the Sea of Solus extrudes from the ocean on a bed of black glass. Jodario searches for a solid path forward to little avail. Fie on these blasted lands. How are you to proceed through this? Perhaps I may be of some assistance. This place is not so unfamiliar to me. No are its hit nor are its hidden denizens. Please remain with the others until I return, madame. I shall not be long. The minstrel disappears into the cliffs before Jodario can protest. In the meantime, you and she continue to keep watch, sensing unseen eyes. The last time that one disappeared on us, we searched for him for days. But this time, he soon returns. I have secured safe passage to the nest of Trieste. We may proceed. Oh, he did it anyway. Secured safe passage with whom, exactly? Whoa, you're cool! Just then, a winged woman dies from the sky. She looks Jadari up and down, and then... She soars away without a word. 
The lone minstrel says nothing more, either. Jodariel's scowl deepens. For centuries, the Commonwealth withstood the high wing remnants. Treacherous assault sanks to soldiers such as she. Wow, that Fuck! That was a, a lot of s -s 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 sounds, but that's a lot of hope lost. I don't like that. Holidays bring stress. I don't mean to control home mining repair stuff because they're booking January 30 currently for repair and diagnostic work. Man, fucking, I don't understand. Like, people put so much pressure on the fucking holidays. It's ridiculous. It's like, I understand it's family time, but like, you're ruining them for yourself by putting all this stupid, unneeded pressure on just a time of year. It baffles me. It's like, chill out. Why are you being so rude to people? Oh, this needs to get here by Christmas. Maybe you should have ordered it two weeks earlier. Maybe you should have ordered it a month earlier. Chill the fuck out. People, dude, seriously. Why? 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 It's gotta go perfect. Uh, no. Shit happens. Relax. Are you dying? No? Then relax. It's fucking a, a gift. I'm sure they'll get. Ha they'll be happy to get it two days late. My god. It'll be just fine. It'll be ruined. No. Don't be over dramatic. At last, you arrive at the tree of Trieste, where the next rite is soon to commence. You cannot shake the feeling that unseen eyes watch your wagon ascent and remain watching now. That's a yeah. That's a giant flame unicorn. Half these people know when they were going on trips, they wait till the last damn minute for no reason. Like. Pre-plan the sh- Exactly! Exactly. My emperor lay there bleeding and alone, stranded in a bitter land beyond the river. With bleeding consciousness, he understood the folly of his quest and the folly of his rule over this, his country. Thus did he wait the last embrace. He was the imp- It was the imp Ha'ub that nursed him back to health and warmed him- warned him often of the dangers he would have to face. Many enemies of Myr would come in search for him, some under employment by the rope collar, some longing openly for cold, uncomplicated vengeance. I was one of them. I plunged into the river willingly. He needed to be sure. We needed to be sure that he was dead. Anyone else in here? Okay. <laughs> I understand that too, Pancake. Oh, hey guys, what bring you out of here? No, wait, don't tell me. I don't want to know. All I want to know is that you, I got the best deals in the downside. I still haven't made money. After dousing the adversary's pyre, the bearers... Whoa, that's nasty. I want that. Any adversaries banished by the bearer take longer to return. Hmm. I need... I'm, I can't afford anything. Should I put that on someone so I can get some stinking money? Uh, just the way it goes sometimes, eh, Dan? Alright, let's... I really... Oops. I want Jadariel to... Damn it. Keep that thing, but... I need money. It really is a pain. Or... I give it to him. I might run with him. Give Jodari a, a break so we can get some bonus experience for her. So it's how who's how Scarlet Birch was that a typo? Oh, Scarlet, you're talking Pokemon. Got it. You and your fellow ga exile gather on the blasted lands called the Nest of Triesta, expecting the imminent commencement of the rite. You see no sign of any adversaries, but then you hear a whooshing sound above. Whoa, you're cool. This, then, is what passes for Nightwings now. 
such a rabble. Not even dressed for the occasion yet, it seems the scribes have little pride in their tradition. Hold your tongue, little bird. You have not come for talk. No, you have come on behalf of your commonwealth. Mark well my words, you honored filth. Er, honored, horned filth. When at last we free ourselves, your home shall burn. Okay, well now I want to bring Jodariel so she can fuck him up. With that, the harp swoops off as Jodariel glowers, glowers after her. What is that word? It is only then that you realize another harp has come. Oh, you're cool. She is quite serious, I assure you. I can help you sort her out. It's in our mutual interest. You know not of my interest. Hmm. Let's give this another shot. Hi. My name's Pametha Thane. Please be on my team. She appears to be one of the winged harps of the high wing remnants now bound in exile. The surly one back there? That was my blood sister. No need to judge her harshly, though. We've only just met now, though I must say something about you reminds me of her. How dare you implicate that I have anything in common with your ilk. Just then, Hedwin shows up to intervene. He whispers something to Jadario. No, Hedwin, you cannot be serious. Jody, I'm asking you to trust me on this one. I am perhaps interrupting something. Say, by the by, however did you make it all this way across the sea? Didn't see you fly in. Trust is something I loathe to give away, Hedwin. But you have set our course this far, and I have followed. So, do as you must. That sandalwood had better have an explanation for all of this. Jodario stones off as Hedwin turns to you. What's your take on this one, my friend? Our informant wants someone for each mask. I hadn't expected we'd run into a harp, yet here she is. What are you getting from her? You turn your attention to Amitha, who has been watching with amused interest. She appears... Oh. Yeah, I read that. Ah, a reader, are you? Pleasure to make your acquaintance, darling. Well, here I am. Gaze intently all you like, and tell your comrade there the truth of it, why don't you? You sense that she is conflicted about something, though you do not know what. You also sense, however, that her motives here and now are earnest. Head wants to know your initial impress. I want her on my team. That's what I want. You got some of the vi- Oh, you guys are gonna do, do some tradings? Edwin wants to know your initial impression of Pamitha. Um, you're willing to take Pamitha at her word and see in her potential a valuable new ally. It may be that her training gives her some resistance to your scrutiny. I'm keeping my fingers like super away from the buttons of the, the mouse because I've accidentally clicked multiple times in the past. Having only met her, you cannot sense whether to trust her and defer to Hedwin. Uh, I think sh she should join our team. That might piss off Jodario, which is a bummer. You tell Hedwin that you think the group should take its chances with Pamitha and take her at her word. My thoughts as well. I think and hope Jodario will come around. He then turns to Pamitha. I'm Hedwin. We'll accept your offer on two conditions if you hear me out. Conditions? Why, sure. I love a good condition or two. First, after we're finished here tonight, you come along and make sure that your blood sister and her friends don't give us any trouble when we're headed out. Second, you'll have to find a way to get along with Jodario, whom you met earlier. Brilliant. I had no plans to stick around here anyway. As for your demon friend, no, we'll get along famously. Er, now. Now, I don't suppose you have an extra set of raiments I could use, because I think the right is getting started. You look up and see that she is right. Misa Thayan joined your party. Fuck yeah, dude! She has a score to settle. Oh, she's cool. Each of the different races of the downside is a distinct set of abilities when conducting the rights. Yeah, I didn't see what hers were. Frida. I thought for sure the stars would have eluded you by now. Yet here you are, somehow, upon the nest of Triesta. 
Oh, who shot the unicorn? I didn't notice there was an arrow in him. Fuck yeah, dude. I want to bring her along. From a distance, you observe as Pamitha, now clad in Nightwing's raiments, heads toward your adversaries in the rites. You. What sort of heathen harp would dare take wings against us? Your new companion then loosens the bindings on her mask. Oh, snap, bitch! Hello there, Tamitha. She is the one wing and harps of the high wing remnants now bound in exile. Uh oh. Tamitha's blood sister stares back at her while a while before responding. What in the saint's name are you doing here with them? Doubtless come to dig your talons in my back again. No, sister. I've come to have a word with you. Save it. I cannot help but share your poison blood. But I shan't ever count you as my sister. You expect me to believe that you came all this way for talk? You waste your time as ever. What's life if not a waste of time, dear sister? Give me a chance, why don't you? What do you have to lose anymore? Besides, I've come a long way. Silence. You shan't have come here and the time for talk is long since past. If only you could see yourself, again, consorting with my enemies. Fine then, savor their defeat. But I warn you, stay away from me. Mm. Amethyst says nothing more as her blood sister turns away again. Mm. Amethyst gets your attention. Listen to me, reader, darling. The rest of you are ill-equipped to navigate this place. Let me conduct this right on your behalf, and my wings will bring you victory. Dear lady, your words ring true. This knight is flattered that you have not eaten him, as is the tendency among your kind. This knight is hereby volunteers his post in the triumvirate for thee. So Gilman refuses to participate in the rites this night so that Pimitha can face her sister. You observe the treacherous terrain. Pimitha could be better suited for the rites here than the rest of you. Yeah, we're gonna bring her. But we're also... No! Mm. Whoa. Everyone's reluctant. Chivalrous. What? Watch it, Ariel. Man... Why, I thought you'd never ask there, darling. I accept. If the little bird is going to conduct the rites for us, then I shall not. It's, it's fine. I, I would have brought you, but you need to get bonus experience. Oh. All right, fine. Take this off. Bird. Uh. Oh, shit. Ah. Uh. Shit. Oh. Oh no, I don't have a Okay. Uh Shit. This is not good. Um I don't remember what her moves are. In the sun burst of speed after a moment. Straight line. You know what? Let's bring Hedwin, because he should have some... Yeah, he's got some experience. Do we want two quickness for him, though? Or do we want... Bonus damage, yeah, because we have a bunch of small people. Alright. You can count on me, my friend. Oh, I forgot to bring... Friend. Tizo. He's a promise to do his best against Tamitha and the Essence. Or Tamitha, I guess. Come then, sister. Perhaps we are finished here. You'll spare a moment of your time. I shan't be tricked by you again, Pamitha. How poetic that we meet here in the downside. I can think of nowhere else I would rather see you rot for what you did for our people and to me. 
Add me, bitch. Pamethus seems to sense your presence and then catches your attention. Hello there, Weedy darling. If I'm to be at your mercy and all this, I'd like it very much if you could minimize how often I'm alone. I'm to wallow in the state of banishment. Quickly, let me show you what the Aesisers of the High Wing Remnants can do. Stamina. Between two sisters. That seems entirely unwise. Even for you. Tread lightly around. Can you dash? Her kind's all but Oh, her dash knocks people race. away. Neat. To tackle. While tackling cannot be banished. That's sick! Okay. See, darling, we hops. We're not so bad. Now I suppose we'd better get to work, hmm? Just don't go underestimating Tamitha over there. I trust you. She'll you'll do the best you can. With the sky, sisters. Tell information. All right, this is gonna this is gonna suck. Tonight's first banishment. Oh, got him! Come at me! Can't catch me! I'm speedy! Can't catch me! Wee woo wee woo! Nailed it! Edwin, was it? Tell me something. You know how to fly. Wait a minute. Did she die on accident? I wasn't paying attention. I wish I did. Oh. I wish I did right about now. Then, listen up. My blood sister there. She'll swoop right past you if you're careless. But we harps simply cannot go much altitude down here. So if she goes for any unfair tricks, just jump for it. And catch her in the act. She always hated when I used to do that to her. Oh, you can jump at them. Press space to block flying adver adversaries. Neat. Okay. No! Oh, I was trying to... I was trying to do the dash. Shit! Oh, your boy! Oh, 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 oh! Donks. Sorry that I sent you to the murder zone. Boom! Indeed. <gasps> Rude. Oh shit. No! Your flames grow. She's gonna be mad at me because she died twice. Have a good night, pancake. I hope you get some rest. Yeah, get wrecked. Go, go, go! Oh I got it. Oh, right, that's throw. Fuck. Yo, look at me go. No. Shit. Oh, you dropped it, bitch. No, I died. No. These guys are hard. No! That didn't work at all the way I was hoping for. No! Fucking it, it, what switch to Tizo! I'm I'm getting my ass kicked. Perhaps you are unworthy. Shit fucked. Dunk! Damn you, Pamitha. You are not true, Thane. You think that you have the, the gall to call me sister still after everything you wrought upon us? I hate to break it to you, Samitha, but I don't take my actions, however much they hurt you, had any effect on our familiar status. What's up, Koala? Get one cookie. Get one cookie. Hello, friend. Wake up and get it. Welcome to the stream. 
I'm getting my butt kicked. Look, I know I wronged you. That's why I'm here. You don't know my side of the story. Your side of the story. If I wanted to hear more lies and deception, I had to have asked Commonwealth to stay in my sentence for a while. Well, if you have come all this way to face me, Pamatha, then come and do it. You and me! 1v1 me, bitch? You think that you see Pamatha shake her head? Everyone, stay back. Oh! Oh shit, this is not good. 1v1. I already forgot my moves. Boom! I got you first! Me, 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 me! Oh, dicks! Ha! No! Why didn't it pop? It didn't pop. And how come you got a boost? Whoop! Whoop! Dunked! Oh my god, I got my ass handed to me. Barely pulled that off. Whew, that was stressful. Is, is she gonna be mad because she died a bunch of times? You commonwealth filth. Only through the traitor's help could you have beaten us. You postponed the meeting of our liberty. But we have a patient, and our sisters on the other side shall have their day, with or without my aid. Pamatha, wait. Please. You found good company there, Pamatha. May you wither here with them. I hope sincerely, I hope sincerely we shan't ever meet again. Amethyst stands motionless as her blood sister departs. Hey, she's gone. The rest of us are headed back. What about you? Sure. I don't see why not. Oh, that's sad. Oh, he leveled up? No, he did not. He did, though. Teaser just had a flash of inspiration with about his role in the rites as part of the Nightwings. A for effort. A. You pull it out by the skin of your teeth. You still pull it out, right? All right. What did I? I was going this way. After causing his, casting his implode ability, he returns much faster. His implode ability can banish adversaries in a much wider area. I haven't even used that ability. Get that one. Oh, so close. Oh, she needs 50 more experience. Until the next right. In the rise, press space to block airborne adversaries. Is I okay. Is that how I was getting them to drop the thing? Oh, there's a potion. After overcoming the essence after a few close calls, you and yeah. The, the text afterwards is always based on w how close the game was. The triumvirate of winged harpies harboring a deep hatred for the commonwealth, led by the harp Tamitha Thane. After a few close calls, you and the others return to your wagon to consider your next move, and how best to inter integrate Tamitha into the group. Why does it... Basanatha... She sounds like, um... The girl from... Hollow Knight, uh, the wife. I don't think it's the same person. Don't worry. I won't be staying any longer than it takes. I like my fresh air so I can sleep. So I, I can sleep up on the roof. I trust the whites will cause my path to Tamitha's across again before long. I want you to stay my friend though. You're welcome. What's this? Whoa. A gleaming endowment. Oh my god, Koala with the murder! Thank you so much for the 1000 bits. Maru, maru, maru. Hold on a minute. What the murder? New boss. Thank you so much for the 10,000 biddies. You are now a stream boss, my friend. Hold on. Hold on. It's gonna work. Oh, in the sick tune. Thank you so much for the 1,000 biddies, my dude. I appreciate the heck out of you. May Yuri rest in peace until next time. I appreciate you, my dude. I hope you are having a wonderful week. The week has been weird for me. Like, I just, I feel like super zoned out, but at the same time, 
like super focused. It's it's a weird feeling. I'm not enjoying it. You're welcome with us for now, Pemintha or Pamitha. Trust is where what got us here. Isn't that right, Ruki? Why is he coming in? But Ruki does not seem to hear the question. He has been rather quiet since first encountering your new guest. Is it because I uh haven't been playing with him? Pamitha shoots him one of her smiles. He stammers something about having to check the wagon's wheels again. Oh, you like her, like her. He runs off during this discussion. The minstrel pulls you aside. Rita, I ask a moment of your time outside. There is somewhere I may ask we go here in Black Basin, Rita. I will leave, of course, and provided that stars allow it. Would you look upon them for us, please? Sure. Silver stars paint over the. Is this one? This one. I crap! That's the third time in a row I've done that. Ooh! Cherry blossom tree. The glade of Lou, directly due west. And it's just as my client indicated. According to the stars, the great sap scholar Lou Sclorian here vanquished the root titan Limbless Arizek. Arizek? This client of yours. Our informant, Sandalwood, he entrusted us this wagon, this quest. Why? What does he want from us? He may, you may ask him yourself. He awaits us somewhere in Wakingwood, due west. The labyrinth of a forest on the western half of Black Basin. Few know their way around it. The path to the sacred Mount Elodiel lies far beyond these suffering woods. How do we find him? He shall find us. It seems you are soon to finally meet Sandalwood. At dawn, you shall have to cross a single narrow path leading west where he supposedly, supposedly awaits. Hi! She seems to have something on her mind. You approach Pemetha, who has kept to herself since she joined your small band. You sense she is unaware of you as she preens her flight feathers, but then she speaks up before you can do the same. Come to check up on me, reader, darling. That was the wrong voice. Come to check up on me, reader, darling. In those first moments when we met, that vote of confidence in me which you relayed to that nice headwind boy. I'm grateful that you were willing to see past these wings. One of your kind's ancient enemies just happens to insert herself into your group, and you just go with it. However, I assure you that my motives here are plain. You'll see, I have business with my blood sister Tamitha and nothing more. You briefly met, I think. She's quite a catch. As to the little quibble between us, well, it's a long story, all in all. One that's frankly not one's business, but hers and mine. Surely you will, will run into her again, maybe not soon, but in time. And we have the rest of our long lives to wait. Anyway, happy to aid you in your quest. Until such time, especially to the extent that it aids me in mine. A simple exchange. Until then, stay vigilant, darling. We needn't concern ourselves with making small talk with someone like me. Besides, we, war we warps have a saying. Warps have a saying. Liars abound. The winged race also known as the High Wing Remnants at war with the Commonwealth. How come that was flashing like I hadn't seen it before? She swoops away before you can respond. Amethyst Moonshine. She has Moonshine? Kept close at hand in the off chance of a good occasion or a very bad one. Okay. Let's continue onwards then. The sulfur main. Precarious path leading towards the woods. The lone Mitchell cautions that the one path down the cliffs is rather treacherous. The wagon has hit a snag, descending the black crags. Its wheel is stuck. Jadariel is not pleased. I was going to say, this is a Morgan Trail. First, that blasted little bird, now this. Though you lack Jodariel's raw strength, you join in as she attempts to dislodge the wagon. At last, with a roar and a heave, she forces the wagon back on the solid ground. May this sandalwood be worth all of the hassle. Thank you, Jody. I'm guessing sandalwood doesn't like to be kept waiting. He's very patient, on the contrary. Not I. Let us move on. Soon the wagon is prepared to press onward, down the jagged slopes toward Wakingwood. 
Your companions who explored ahead advise on which of the fork paths is best. Glamberg or Glass Peak. Sir Glillman thinks he can dig up something valuable. Pavin says she can procure a talisman. Ooh. Talisman. Having gone the route of Pamitha recommended, she directs you towards a particular crag no more conspicuous than any other. They clip our wings before they cast us down, you know. But just the same, we learn to flit around a bit. Just watch. Pamitha swoops up to a nearby peak and disappears behind it. She does not keep you waiting long and returns bearing an item of some sort. For you, reader darling, we high wing remnants stash away such things for such occasions. Titan Tooth. After blocking airborne adversaries, the bearer briefly stuns them and knocks them back. Oh. Is there going to be a lot more airborne adversaries? <gasps> Green area! Love that. Oh. Having passed beyond the black crags, your wagon arrives at the edge of the waking wood. It is here that Sandwood is to be expecting you. However, most puzzling. He ought to have met us here. You said he would find us himself. Aye. He was also to find us at the edge of these woods. We supposed to keep waiting for him? You would desire for the stars to be your guide as always. The rights beckon and the rights take precedence above all else. Surely he shall find us yet. Then let's keep moving. How do we get through these woods? The lone Mitchell notes two possible paths forward from this point. Though cautious, though cautious that the woods are difficult to navigate and Sandalwood would have known the most ex expedient path. Excuse me. Needlefield, that sounds bad. <laughs> Greymore. A small clearing east of the Glade of Lou. The lone Mitchell says his client Sandalwood studied the rites here. The lone says his client Sandal often resided here. It contains the grandish trees. Ooh. I want to see trees. Sandalwood has left a long life compared to... Compared with any of you, at least. In the latest years of his exile, he became rather reclusive for a variety of reasons he shall no doubt explain. He found some solace here in these woods, though. Though I fear I cannot locate his residence without him. Unfortunately, you find no trace of Sandalwood, and without him, him there to guide you, you remain quite lost. The woods seem to have encroached. There is no path forward, while neither of the paths leading backward appeared to match the route that you j took to this point. We're getting lost. Ooh. Ray seems drawn to this location for some reason. The imp seems to wish to go towards this location. Oh. Okay, we want to go catch him something. I hope I get, get to catch him something. I think Ray would have got us a, a buff. But I want to catch something for Tizo. The woods are so disorienting at this point that you decide to break for camp and survey the surrounding areas for any clues. Perhaps later there shall be time to pursue your vocations. Oh, nice. The Beyonder Crystal seeks- YES! Okay, it warned me. Hell yeah. I don't remember her voice. You have returned, have you? What is it that you require? Oh, that can be arranged. You need what name for me, the one that you have in mind. Jodario! Let's go fuck him up. I'm gonna be against fast people, aren't I? You asked Sandra to administer one of her special trials for Jodario. That's surly demon, is it? She could stand to lighten up, though I fear that is not a secret I can teach. But let us bring her forth regardless. Soon Jodario appears in heat of the summons. We're gonna make you awesomer. What is the meaning of this, reader? We're gonna make you awesomer! Demons such as Jedi will slow to move in the rights, but have huge auras and inflict heavy pyre damage if they can close the distance with... Their... I didn't get a finish. What is the meaning of this? Reader, where are the others? The apparition Sandra appears in Luke's and Luke's her mask. Welcome to my humble home, demon. You are good at taking orders, no? State your purpose quickly, Wraith. My purpose is to put you to the test. 
You may be fearsome to behold, but you are old and slow. Your weakness perhaps outweigh your strengths. Though I sorely wish to see you and your lovely reader prove me wrong. Old, she says. Very well then, reader. Let's show her whether she is right. Fuck yeah, bro. Oh, no. Okay, it actually is going to be a problem. Got them both. Go in there. Dunk. Dunk. Boom. I have to do this three times. Got them both. Shit, why is it all the way over there? Boom, get dunked. No, I was so close. Oh god, she takes so long to respawn. No! Oh, sit. No. Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. No, no, I thought. No, this is bad. No, stay away. Get fucked. Huh. No! Oh, this is hard. I jumped. Fuck you. Oh no, I killed you because I dropped the thing. This sucks ass. No. No! Oh, you bitch! I'm not gonna get this. I'm so slow. No. Go! Dunk! Oh, you did it. One more time. Yes, let's go! Oh, yeah, you, oh, yes, oh, so good. Oh, so stressful. Fucking killed it. Jadario, fucking legend. Are you satisfied now, Wraith? I'm never, satis I'm never satisfied, demon. However, your performance was sufficient and you passed my test. Thus, the congratulations are in order. For you and your lovely reader. Now. Oh well. Hell yeah, dude, we did it. Sandra's disciple. Yes. Woo! That was difficult. Whew. That was a strange experience. Hmm. What do you have there, reader? Solium's horn. Legendary talisman! Jadariel casts her, arther, her aura farther and faster than usual. Oh, dirty. That could be dirty. Oh, my heart's still beating, dude. Hey, thanks for the hypes. Whew. Investigate the surroundings? Okay. You find nothing of interest while sifting through the tall brush of the under thicket. A southern path through the waking wood, a dense path of trees that for centuries have attempted to strangle one another. But then, what is it, Tizo? I love him. Tizo seems to have found a clue to the whereabouts of the lone minstrel's client. Oh. The little imp brings you a strip of bark. It does not seem unusual at first until you notice a message carved onto this inside. Oh. It's more money. <laughs> a sturdy strip of bark on it is written, come to cinder root. Okay. Hey guys, I found things. So it's some kind of message from the sandalwood guy. Seems that way. Which way to cinder root? It's due northwest. Perhaps we can set forth early tomorrow when the woods are still. Sounds good. Everyone rest up. Big day coming up. Location? Yes. These are always the same. All right. I think I'm going to get presents. Everyone's uh, aura is a little bit bigger now. Tenacity. Hell yeah, dude. A 
hushed clearing cells with glade of blue. You have no you have reason to suspect the informant Sandalwood may have come through here. Alright. That oh, it's gone. It moved. But the yellow spot that was a on top of the white ploof it looked like an egg. You arrive at the outskirts of Cinderroot, but once again the informant Sandalwood is nowhere to be found. Grounds well traveled by saps knowledgeable in the rites. You sense the hopes of your companions waning as you search through the area yields nothing. Then something startles little Imtizo. He is vener he is a venerable dri oh yeah, we that's just his name. Tizo seems to be crying out in surprise. He has spotted something or someone. <laughs> oh my god, it's a it's an ant. Tall figure strides forward from the trees, making sound like laughter. The imp charges towards him. Okay, he must be sandalwood. And leaps right to the figure's arms. They embrace. Whoa, he's cool. He looks like he's made of steel. Oh, that, that carving into his head is awesome. Hey, Tizo. Wait, we gotta give him a cool voice. Let's do, uh... Something. Something. Whoa, shit. That's too much. Hello? There you go. I don't know, something like that. Maybe something like that? No. No. I don't think, I don't think that. What about that? Give him a little bit of hard tune. Interesting. That's, that was a little too much. Holy shit. I can't. I can't. It won't. It doesn't adjust from that. Well, it doesn't adjust from that. That's funny. Okay, but what if I do this? I want that. That. Um. I want, um. I, I'm gonna have to, um. Can you guys actually understand what I'm saying? Because I don't know if you can. That's a little, little too much, I think. What if I... No, none of these are changing anything. It's just doing its own thing. Alright. Something... I guess we're just gonna stick with that. Treebeard, yeah. <laughs> S similar, right? Hey, old Tizo, but you look famished. Here. Might be a little too much. The tall sap produces something that the imp swallows immediately and with great pleasure. Tree like creature known for their ingenuity, cleverness, and ambition. Having allied with them, the Commonwealth achieved in decades what it could have not achieved in centuries. The lone Mitchell nods his head in affirmation. Everyone, I wish to introduce you to my client. Wolfred Sandalwood he is the Lone Mitchell's client, Headwind's informant, and leader of the Nightwings. It has been too long, Wolfred, sir. There are many tables. Too long indeed, Tariq. I trust your new companions to bring some color to your days. That's funny, because he's gray as fuck. They do, sir. I think that you shall find them worthy of the Nightwings. The sap looks upon the lot of you. You cannot sense his thoughts. We shall see. Then he turns to you. You must be the reader. I'm certain that we all appreciate your efforts here, my boy. Though we shall manage on our own from here on out. You're welcome to continue on with us, of course. Though you are free to go. I trust you have been adequately compensated for your time. Thanks as well for looking after all my books. You consider what to say to all this. But I want to stay. This cannot be happening. You have come this far. Only be brushed aside by some strange sap. The leader of the Nightwings has returned. You can tell when you are no longer wanted. You have been assured your freedom. You categor categorically refuse to cast him aside. Yeah, I'm staying. You stand your ground, meeting Volfred's steady gaze, and assert to him that you do not feel your commitments to and from this group have yet been satisfied. Hold on. Volfred, sir. I'm Hedwin. My companions and I are the ones who answered your call. We followed the signs you left for us. Now we're here, thanks to you, and also to this reader. Not just the reader, he... 
He is our friend. My friend. He's not disposable. We made him a promise and our freedoms are now intertwined. Wolfred, Wolfred smirks at this. Freedom's not something to be traded and exchanged, my boy. I'd hope that you have come to grasp this much by now. He breathes a sigh. It seems we've started off on the wrong foot. It's not my wish to sour the occasion, but there's much to do. You have a right you need to get to, do you not? I'll come along, though you shall not interfere. Or it seems you have a kinship with this reader of yours. Now then, Tariq. Aye, Wolfred, sir. Come. Let's have a chat. Of course, sir. Are they going to do the... The moon chat? No, because we haven't done a right yet. Wolfred strides back to the black wagon, or toward the black wagon, which must have belonged to him. You sense many conflicting emotions among your companions. He joined us! Alright. What are your powers? He said he wouldn't interfere, though. Your wagon cuts through a clearing to arrive at the Glade of Lou, where the stars directed you. Wolfred nods his approval, but leaves everyone to their devices. I have money now. Oh, hey guys, you know, I guess I didn't get the weird out about the new franchise, which just opened here just now. So, give me a great deal, just tell your friends, okay? Oh, and hey there, Mr. Sandalwood. He knows him. Good day to you as well, Ron. Oh, there's so many things here. Here, you want this? <laughs> right, what do we got? Uh, Once per right, if the bear's pyre is extinguished instead... Oh, that's pretty dope. I only have $14. 180? What? That's pretty sick. I don't have the money for this, bro. Those two are cheapest. At least I can get some upgrades. Must be our lucky day here. I didn't know what did. All right, what do we got in here? Hey, buddy. He seems to have something on his mind. As you approach Wolfred Sandalwood, you feel very much aware that you reside within his black wagon rather than he in yours. He studies you in silence for a time then. Tarek, if you have a moment. Aye, Wolfred, sir. What is it? This reader. You deem him worthy by your estimation. The lone Mitchell tilts his hat in your direction. If you wish my own estimation, Wolfred, sir, then I do. Of course. It is not entirely for me to say, but I've seen this reader integrating with the others well. I believe that his achievements are self-evident in reach, having reached Black Basin. Your instructions were deliberately difficult to follow, yet he and the others followed them. Indeed. Your words make sense as ever, to read. It's probably Tarek. And what does this little to Tizo think of him, I wonder? I love you. Tizo indicates that, as a matter of fact, he's happy to have you around. Yes. There you have it, sir. I see. He continues to examine you. I praise and isn't off spoke by these two, my boy. Nonetheless, I shall be watching you. Now pardon us. Tarek and I have matters to discuss. They leave without another... Whoops, they leave without another word, although you think you notice the Lone Minchel look your way over his shoulder. Okay, what present did he bring in? He didn't bring in anything. Emperor Murr, scarcely, scarcely could I recognize him when I, at last I found him. A half-starved animal, horns sprouted from his head, a bestial mirror of his blackened reputation. And I, a man who conquered countries, feared my emperor then in such a way as I had never known. My charge had been to slay this man, but when I discovered him, he was already fighting for his life. The little imp, Haub, pr proved of little help against the Sisters of the Ark, whose entire lives were culminating in this instant. I was unable to watch. My heart ached with such pity for the man, and for the love 
I felt for him when I had served him, but I sprang to his defense. Interesting. Rose smil smoking pipe filled his own leaves. <laughs> That's what, yeah. Yeah. You and your fellow exiles arrived at the sacred site called Glade of Lu. Now look for the stars in the sky to signal the beginning of the next rite. The woods about you bring a sense of tranquility that you have not felt in some time. But then you notice some of the trees move. It shuffles towards you and regards you with an exaggerated bow. Hey, buddy. Well, goodness, by the roots, roots of loose cloy and new repair, the rumors are correct. The night wings have returned. Third of the eight describes a book of rites known as the Wise or the Philosopher. He's said to have fathomed every thought, and his wisdom flows through the river of his name. This? This too, though. I need a better voice for him. We'll do similar. We'll do something similar. But he also has like a weird robot voice to his voice, so. Oh, where are my manners? Mm. One moment. The sap claws at his mask with his wispy fingers. Oh, goodness. Much better. Each manly tinder staff at your service. Perhaps you've heard of me. He is a sycophant who seems certain he will land a position of high standing once he is free. My fellows and myself, you perhaps know as the chastity. We sure shall stand against you of the rights. For now, I am just wo whiling away the time making small talk. I'm getting rid of the robot voice. It's driving me nuts. Triumvir bent on exploiting the rights to gain status in the Commonwealth, led by the Sap. Now then, as I introduce myself, you your turns. To whom am I speaking? Oh, yep. Then in your mind's eye, you see Wolfred and hear his voice. Manling Tinderstaff is not to be trusted. Reveal your, neither yourselves to him nor me. Well. Neither Master Dario still looks back at him in silence. You suspect Wolfred's message may have reached every member of the group. Why now? How very rude indeed. Well, fine, ignore me, but you do so at your peril. Anyhow, once this evening's rites commence any any moment now, then I'm afraid ignoring me won't be any option any longer. Oh, and now I do believe the sky is beginning to show. I'll have to chat again some other time. Now, come along, come along. All right, and beat the shit out of him. Manly bows and wanders off into a clearing as the stars begin to burn. Dink, 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 dink. Oh, certainly on the mystery to repick. Oh, okay. So I can reroll. The stars align themselves before you, reader. Now at the glade of Liu, I have to say, you've come so very far. But there are those such as your adversaries called the chastity. Also, I should have done a, a voice effect for you, Koala, for your bits. Hold on. Random voice effect. Is it working? I don't hear it. I don't know if it's working. It doesn't sound like it worked. Hold on. Let me... Oh, voice mod is not running. What the heck? Why isn't voice mod running? Hold on. There's a problem here. There do be a problem. Hey, where is it? I just started it. Where did it go? Is it not going to start? It's just taking 4 million years. Come on. Ending the space time continuum, it says rebooting the bot. All right. Are we good now? Hold on. Show window. All right. Hopefully, this won't be working. Let me move you, please. Oop. All right. This should work. Let's see. All right. Okay. I'm a robot. I'm a robot for five minutes. Oh, and I gotta do butt flexes while being the robot? Neat. 
All right. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. I don't, I'm not going to be able to do the voices for these guys while the voice is going on. The voice went away. Did it? That's weird. It, uh... It should still be happening. Um... It should... That's... Ooh. Do you, got, you guys hear... Do you hear double of me? Because that would be a problem. No. Yeah, now it's back, but you you hear me behind it, don't you? OBS changed my audio settings again. That's why they haven't been working right. Well, that's annoying. Well. Yeah, dude, it always changes it. It's really obnoxious. All right, well, I'll just have to keep an eye on it and manually turn it off. There. We'll move, get them pets. Yep. So, thanks OBS, you're amazing for always changing this stuff. I wonder, oh honored Nightwings, how well do you know these woods? We should probably choose a better voice. Hold on, let's let's actually choose a better voice because that's a pain in the butt. This one, this one is not fitting. Here. Let's do that one. Is that one better? Whoa, it sounds broken. It doesn't work anymore. Whoa, dude. Um, so there's there's broken. It, there's things are they're broken. How very strange. Uh oh. It's rave time. And you turn it up. It slaps. Ready? The song slaps. Something. Um, I don't know why voice mod is broke, but it's, uh, really uncool. And definitely a problem. Ugh, excuse me. Okay, we're back to normal. That was... No idea what's happening with the, the audio, but thanks, OBS. I appreciate you. Oh, right. He has a voice. I wonder, oh, on no, no, Nightwings, how well do you know these woods? Why, these woods would strangle you. And I'm afraid I could do little to stop them even if I tried. You might do better to beware of them. Oh, say something to him, Jordario. Scare the shit out of him. When Jordario continues to ignore him, he grows upset. Why, you insolent? Then fine, let us begin the dance indeed. He shoves his mask back on in a huff. And allow me to thank you in advance for helping me return onto my proper station in the Commonwealth. What a, what a pompous ass. Now, let us get started. Um, where's our queen? Yep. Bam. Stomp the shit out of him, dude. Oh, crap. No! I didn't... I didn't check her stats. Um. Oh man, it must be some balancing thing that I can't have them together. That's lame. Although it's kind of good because I could switch off between them. Um, let's you. Um, I kind of want to bring Tizo. Do you have a thing? Who's the person I gave this thing? Oh, it's you. Okay, well, I'm gonna bring him. Oh. 
It was a good boy. Easier to knock Manly and his goons down a peg or two. Hell yeah, dude. Are you quite ready, finally, old Nightwings? May all those masks of yours ensure that no harm should come to any of your lovely countenances. Now, come along, come along. Let's give the stars a show. I cannot wait to raffle stomp your ass. Say hello to Jadario. Oh, wait. What the? Unfair, bro. I like your little flower, but that's cheating. May I present you? Humboldt's Mantley Jr. Why, he is very every bit my equal, and I poise to guarantee the tender soft line shall have a bright, bright future. Humboldt's Mantley Jr. Manly sampling, which not only has his name, but there's a similar posture and likeness to him. He goes on and on about a sampling for a while. <laughs> I have one more. I've had more than enough of him. Oh. Yes, sure. I think I would like that. Because that manly, I just, I, I don't think he is as nice as he seems. Um, the buttons are all, all fucked. Was it this one? Nope. Was it this one? It was that one. Ow, isn't he just the most professional thing you've ever seen? Hmm? The sapling is nothing but an extension of manly. If he's managed, the sapling should cease to trouble you as well. All right, well, get fucked by Judario. Manly and his offspring. Small degree of influence within the common Get fucked! Oh no, that's uncool. Would welcome his return, though none so much Get over here. He Shit! Oh, right, I forgot that makes him explode. No! Zing, bitches! Splam! Glory to the night. Hell yeah. Oh, oh, what is this? It seems the woods themselves are closing in upon our little soirée. Soir I can't pronounce that word either. Soiree. There it is. Oh, do be careful now. These grasping roots and vines, they may not hold you in such high esteem as I. Hey. No. Cheater, cheater. Pumpkin eater. Your adversary manly is Boom. Yet he longs now for the comfort of his commonwealth estate. Boom. Get dunked on. Mm, she's so awesome. Oh dear, the woods are closing in, uncomfortably close at that. Whatever shall we do? Perhaps if you just stand there aside a while, we can put an end to this is this that much sooner. Fuck you, stop cheating, bro. Uncool, man. Just you wait. Here comes the boy. Here comes the boy! Dunk! Deliverance. The boy. Hey, have you any of you, have any of you noticed now how it's feeling rather crowded out here? Hmm? Almost as if the hundred minds themselves resents you being here. Yes, I really think that's it. Third of the eight scribes of the Book of Rights. Yeah, we read that one. So, cease with all your scurrying about with a damned order. Let me handle this. Nah. I'm going to send you back to the wood chipper. Oh my god. I, I can't move anywhere. Jadario's too large. Aha, you missed. Yeah, get fucked. Oh! Jadario, you're slow. Ah! Stop. Stop. You guys cheat. Ah! Get fucked. Ah! Dicks and balls. Dude, getting dunked on. Too fast. Too fast. Too furious. Too fast for y'all. All right, you night wings. I've had it up to here with you. Or perhaps I've simply had it up to here with all these encroaching plants. These miserable things. I thought they were working for you. Either way, I don't appreciate how you're ignoring me. Oh, we're going to ignore you so hard. Oh, this sucks. Jadario, you're too large. This is problematic. Get fucked. Oh, cheater. No, she just murdered both of us. Lame. Into your flames. Oh, shut up, narrator. All right, now we're good, though. Someone come over here and watch what happens. Get fucked, ugly. Whoop. 
Yeah, get him. Oh, you kill him. Zoop, whoop, whoop, whoop. Can't catch me. Can't catch me. Zip, bop, boop, boop, boy. He's the best. Too fast. Good job, team. Team awesome. Good. That imbecile of a sapped. So much talk and hot hair. I knew we could prevail. Oh, Mr. Tinderstaff there. I, I think he's really upset now. He was fired up at having prevailed against Manly and his chastity. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, get fucked. With that weird ass noise. Is it this one? Yeah. Well, my, my, my. Oh, worry not, oh, Nightwings. I'm not angry with you, honestly. But I am very, 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 very disappointed. I thought perhaps that we had something going here between us. You scratch my back, I scratch yours and all. Instead, however, you decide to spit in my face. That's gross. That creates mold for your kind, huh? Fine. Well, I have to see where your rudeness gets you. Now, ta-ta. Oh, get out of here. Did you level up? Did you level up? Did you level up? Yes! What a nonsense, all of this. That we have come this far. Fortune alone cannot be the cause. Hell yeah, dude. Look at her stinking present size. Amazing. I want to level that up. Any adversaries banished by Jerry? Oh, yes. Huge. Oh, she leveled up too. Nice. The eight scribes, they so inspire me, and now I feel that I've grown somehow closer to them, maybe? Ray of flings the orb faster and farther than usual. When saluting her adversaries, Ray automatically leaps towards the orb if no one has it. That's kind of neat. I don't even use her ability. While grasping the orb, Ray sprints and jumps without using stamina. Oh, that's huge. That was well done, my boy. Wrong one. That one? That one. That was well done, my boy. I'm beginning to see why your companions vouch for you. Don't let it go to your head, of course. We kicked ass. Don't be jealous. Bring the reins, press blah. Oh, yeah. After triumphing over the chastity with great prowess, you return to your wagon and consider your next move. An adequate performance back there. We kicked their ass. What are you talking about? Adequate. Yes, adequate. In the next part of our plan. Go. Oh, have your reader there consult the stars. See where they to take you next. I'll give you a hint. It's further north. It's going to be high up. Um, did this knight hear you say high up? And it's going to be cold. We'll see. Come on, my friend. Let's have a look outside then. That plan Volfred mentioned. I just want you to know, I don't know what he means. We're here because we're going to be free again. We won't be living on our days as exiles. That's the only plan as far as I'm concerned. But there's always a catch, right? We'll see what Wolfred has to say. Has to say. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. No matter what, we're getting closer thanks to you. Let's take a look at the stars. All right, read it this time, Vasive. Solium, the golden star. The golden star shines bright over the highest mountains and all the downside. Oh, that's different. Uh, excuse me. So now you see it for yourself. You are summoned to the north where looms Mount uh, Elodio. And at the very top, fall of Solium. Mount Elodio, the sacred mountain who, on whose summit the rites were first conceived. Whether it's the summit, it's the downside. Whether its summit is the downside's closest point to the Commonwealth or the farthest, none can say. According to the stars, the next rite shall see. Oh, yeah. The temple at the highest part of the downside exists to honor the eight scribes. You confirm the stars indicated this exactly. Wolfred, sir, how did you know? Wolfred smiles back at him. 
but you sense his thoughts as though he is directing them at you. Are you a reader too? I too can read, my boy. I just fucking called it. Forbidden though the words may be. He's saying it himself this time. He turns back to Hadwin. Your reader's skills, while rare, are not unique. But, as I said, I'll let him do the job. I see that you have something special going here, which be benefits the plan. What if I would have said, like, no, he can take control? What plan? I thought this was about our freedom. Oh, fear not, my boy. It is indeed. Plenty of time to tell you all about that along the way. For now, however, you look like you could use some rest. And for that matter, so can I. If you'll excuse me. You sense your companions are exhausted from their recent travels. Given the road ahead, you agree it would be best to take the night to recover as much as possible. Anyone want to talk to me? Nope. He didn't bring a thing in here. Has me sussed out. At dawn, Volfred is already up. It reveals to you a pathway through the woods and it's a cold land to the north beyond which lie your next destination. Glorian Shore. Wolford reveals this to be the one path through the woods in the north. I just thought of something. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Where is settings? Yep, it's fine. All right, so it's uh, it's literally just OBS being a pain in the ass and changing my settings on me. You get to clear the woods at last and arrive in lands grown cold in the shadow of Mount Elodial. You will have to make it all the way to the top. Yep. Oh, in a moment of respite, Wolfrid calls everyone together to discuss matters pertaining to the rights and the plan to which he alluded. You banded together with a common faith that freedom from the downside is not possible. Am I correct? But let me ask you something. What does freedom even mean to you? He looks in your direction as he asks, defying you to answer. You cannot sense his own thoughts on the subject and only know the truth of how you feel. All right, hold on. OBS finally opened its thing. All right. Uh oh, shit. Uh oh. Are we good? We good now? I hope it's good. All right. All right. So here's a test. You guys should hear a sound effect or a voice mod. Um. Maybe. suck sometimes just saying what freedom what does freedom mean to you do what you want no achieving in your peace freedom means having a clear conscience and carefree heart having no master going where you please you feel true love living without fear nothing at all remaining silent freedom is just another empty goal to chase to give one's life a false sense of meaning what is freedom i would say achieving inner peace You tell Volfred that freedom is a state of mind. While easier said than done, you can simply be yourself without concern, then you are free. 
He considers your response for a short while. If that is so, then the Commonwealth, then the Commonwealth that I recall, the Commonwealth that sent us to rot, that's not a place that fosters freedom such as you describe. Admittedly, I haven't seen the Commonwealth in many, many years. However, judging by your presence here, I doubt it's changed all that very much since then. He then turns his attention to the whole group. And let me tell you all that what freedom means to me. Freedom means to live without fear. To be able to indulge one's curiosities and passions, at least the ones that cause no harm to, harm to others. I was, good thing he specified that. I was going to be like, oh, he's a, he's an evil bitch. Without the constant threat of judgment and reprisal, freedom means not being made a criminal for what you know, or whom you love, or what you choose to think or not think. He looks out towards the distant mountains. Within the next few days, your time in exile could come to an end. You could see the Commonwealth once more, and you would be ex exalted there, given the highest honor, the opposite of how you got here. But you would not be truly free, I think. At least you would become complicit in an ancient system that would deign to cast down others such as you. It is a system whose well-intentioned founding principles have long been lost. And the eight scribes, if they are out there still, have made quite clear that they shall not intervene with first hand. That is where you come in. He turns to you and everyone again, looking to each of you. Long have I wished to gather such a group, that together, you might see that seeking freedom only for yourselves is too modest of a goal. You share a higher calling now. The plan, then, is this. We free each other from the downside through the rights, then we meet up on the other side. We organize. Each new moon at dusk, we join together at the Spiral Sanctum. We need as many of us there as possible. My agents on the other side shall explain the rest. Spiral Sanctum. The burned down remains of the old capital of the Commonwealth. You're plotting a revolt. Just so. I am asking a lot. You do have other options. The seat, however, is not one of them. The reader and myself, you know by now that we can see through it. But you need not be a part of this, nor is it in my interest to coerce you. You may go your own way if you wish, live out your remaining days here like so many others. So if anyone among you prefers that, if you cannot see yourself continuing to strive together in the Commonwealth, as you are doing here, then speak now. Wilfred pauses for a time, examining each member of the group. No one stirs. Very good. Some of you consider yourselves friends, some others not. But all of you are bound together through the rights and are integral to our plan. Remember that. You seek freedom, you will not find it waiting for you in the Commonwealth. But together, you can bring it about, both for yourselves and others. That is my promise. Then he lets out a long breath. That's it. I ask you all to think on this. And let's reconvene along our journey to the summit. Wolfred turns to the mountains, leaving you to consider what he said and plot the wagon's northward path. Mer Pass. Oh, I meant to read that. Whoops. Beyond lies Mount Elodio. I suggest you make camp here at the base of the mountain, where we shall need our spirits and our strength to make the ascent. Oh! Diesel! Oh, he wants to talk. There you are, my boy. There was something which I wanted to discuss with you in private. Wolford stare. Oh, he slapped me? Wolford stares at you rather intently, as if reaching out to you, and then... You do not know what it means to be a reader. Oh, question. That was a question, to be a reader. Those such as we. We are not limited to reading pages from a book. Oh, your ability in this I sense is nascent still. Merely flashes, uncontrollable. I see as well now that you haven't told... They haven't told you yet. Your friends. And that explains a lot. They haven't told you readers such as you cannot go free. I had wondered why you would insist on pressing onward with this group in light of this. The answer then was plain. You simply did not know or fully realize. They did not deceive you, by the way. There's no reason they would know themselves other than Tariq or Tariq, who shall not influence your thinking in such matters. 
Rather, I had expected when we first met that you already knew the truth of this from having read the passages in the Book of Rites, which states it plain. Only those who shall conduct the rites firsthand shall walk the path towards enlightenment and become eligible to regain their freedom. Perhaps you have not gotten to that part just yet. Wolford breaks free from you and looks at you again. Then he speaks to you as normal. It is plain that you are not in the adequate condition to conduct the rites, and this group values you as a reader. I wish only to ensure you understand what you are getting into here. Despite whatever hopes and dreams and promises might have been shared, I do not think the rites can help you to return, if that is what you had in mind. So, once again, I invite you to depart, and I will see to it that you are compensated. Do not misunderstand. If it is your wish to remain, then you are welcome. But this journey we are on, it has no guarantees. Not for you, nor any of us. Do you understand? Over it indicates the readers such as you cannot free, go free through the rights. I understand. I'll free my friends. You understand the words of the warning, yet just the same you choose to carry on. There's no more that you wish to achieve in this journey than freedom for yourself. I admire that, my boy. Then, very well. Know that we have made much at stake here in this anyway. Much more than just a shot at going back to the Commonwealth, which cast us down here to begin with. It sounds like you intend to stick around. And we'll have lots more to do to more time to chat as we ascend the sacred mountain in the coming days. Until then. He strides out of the wagon, then leaving you with your thoughts. We gotta go eat Tizo's thing. I was beginning to wonder when you would return. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. I shall gladly oblige, my reader. Who is it to be the lucky one this time? Tizo, my boy! You asked Sandra to administer one of the special traits for Tizo. I dare think I remember something of that imp. He certainly stood out from all his ilk. Although, that really is not saying much. Well, let us bring him forth. Don't be rude to him. Tizo soon appears in heat of the summons. Tizo seems to be prepared for whatever lies ahead. He's just ready to go. He's a jolly good boy. Apparition Sandra appears and unfastens her mask. Listen well, Imp. You answer to me here. He said, fuck you. He indicates his understanding is prepared to begin Sandra's trial. Oh, he's just ready to go. Look at him. Fantastic. You know the formalities, of course. Show me, then, that you have learned thus far about the rights. Here in this trial, it shall be just you, my Beyonders, and your lovely reader. Let us see how, now, how you fare. Let's go, boy. Boom. No, I was on top of him. Okay, I thought I was going to be able to cheese that, but nope. Oh, fuck me. Shit. Okay, this is not, this is not going well. All right. Fuck you, fuck you. No, no. Oh, I was getting stuck. I'm getting my ass kicked, bro. Oh, dicks. Oh, this one's hard. It's not gonna let me redo it, is it? Fuck! I am getting my ass kicked, dude. Fuck you. I think I found the hack. Get in there! Oh, shit. Fucked. I need to sneak all the way over there. Oh, shit. Okay. He just... I lost! Oh, no. No, let me do it again! Please let me do it again. He's was frustrated to have failed Tondra's challenge. Come now, Imp. This test is not meant to be easy, even for the likes of you. I would tell you not to waste more time, many more of my time, but then my time is there for years to waste. 
Let's try again now, whenever you so choose. Yeah, we're gonna fucking do it again. I'm so glad we can do it again. Excellent. Another opportunity to prey upon the imp. Fuck you! He's a good boy. Andrew's very patient so you can come back to her scribe trials at any time. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, so I gotta take them all out at once. What? Dude, he jumps like a fucking football field. Rude. Oh, get fucked, bro. Ooh. That guy jumped so far. Get fucked. Oh, get fucked. Oh. Oh, right. He can fly. No! Shit. Oh, that was close. Get fucked. No! No! No, 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 no! Dicks. This is hard. Dude, you should not be able to jump like that. Player in the goddamn field. That was stupid. Why did I do that? Dude, this one is hard. What the hell? Fuck you. No, it doesn't spawn in time. I don't like this one. This one sucks. Fuck you, Sandra. What do I do with this? Yeah, fuck you. Shit. Fuck! Oh my god, they're too fast. They're so fast and they can jump so far. Oh, bull, man! I hate this. Fuck off, man. Oh, dude, he jumped, he jumped, he jumped so fucking far. It's really unfair, dude. What? This one can suck my nuts. Oh, what? I got stuck on the stupid thing. How are you supposed to do this one? This one's impossible. I might need a different, uh, talisman. I think I'm gonna like make it. No, I, I never do. Fuck off, man. His charge up time is stupid fast. There we go. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh my god. This is hard because like his jump can run me into shit. Oh, God. Little watcher, adorable. OK. 
Okay, this is what we do. Bait them all up here. Boom! All right, we got it. We figured it out. I'm all about baiting them. Grabbing it first. Oh, shit! That one didn't move. No dumping. Oh, smart move. Oh, you guys left your goal wide open. You did it that time. Oh. Stressy spaghetti. Yeah, you did it. These was kind of a completed Sandra's challenge and waits her approval. A worthwhile effort, Imp. Your performance was sufficient and you passed my test. Your predecessor may well have approved. Plus, congratulations are in order. You and your lovely reader. Now farewell. Yeah. Yeah! What'd you get? Mercy is the beating heart of our glorious society. Mercy even for the foulest traitor. Give me the saying! He was happy to be back and wonders what it is that Sandra granted you. Take a closer look at the new artifact in position. Aub's wing. These those flutter and zip abilities cost less stamina than usual. Oh, absolutely, bro. That's amazing. That's absolutely incredible for him. Hell yeah, dude. You wear that. What do you want? Could give you quickness. I don't think I care about that one. It's a legendary, but... Sandra's second blade managed to graze her target's face, twisted as it was with sorrow, not with rage. Even the sisters were taken aback, faced with such a sheer ferocity from one with such small stature. Yeah. Gnashing his teeth and howling as with joy, the brazen alpha chief threw himself at danger. Mm. I kind of want to level up Andariel's thing because this thing is just stupid. Gonna hit the sack. Please sleep well. Have a good night. Get some good rest in. Take care of yourself. Appreciate you hanging out. Fuck. Yeah, it is. Booty pass for you. Paul says good night. <laughs> uh, kind of want to upgrade that. I'm using all my monies. I, I like her giant presence. <laughs> Discuss the plan. Earlier, Volford called for a group meeting, presumably to reveal the plan in more detail. Said he revealed some bad news. Uh, Wait, what are you saying? What I'm saying. Oh, wrong voice. What? what? What I'm saying, my boy, is that while you can indeed get yourself out of here, I can't be all of you at once. Be on our way back one by one, or not at all. But I thought. I swore we'd go free together. We may go free together yet, but it's going to take time, and this is only the first phase. You, Edwin, and the others exchanged glances. Let me make this plainer for you still. Here's how the coming days are going to unfold. First, we're going to sound Mount Elodial, there to the north. You may not think this wagon's fit for it, though rest assured it's made the journey many times. Next, we'll pass through Scribe Gates, only the worthy pass through there. As your reader could attest, if you did not merely skim the chapter of the book. They said the scribes themselves keep watch over scribe gates. The judgment of the scribes determine who can cross and who is sent a fast way down. Afterwards, we'll reach the fall of Solium, Solium and meet our adversaries in the rites. They are two by the tempers, led by the demon Ignarius. You'll know him when you see him. Fall of Solium. One of the downsides... Celestial Landmarks. The Temple of the Highest Point of the Downside exists to honor the Eight Scribes. 
tempers, the mighty triumvirate that has been the closest rival of the Nightwings, led by the demon Ignarius. He is the random and notorious demon leader of one of the most feared triumvirates in the rites. Both you and they shall come, shall choose someone from your respective ranks. And once one of the triumvirates prevails, there's somebody who will be whisked home to the Commonwealth. Whisked home to the Commonwealth? Do I lose someone? Precisely. Once returned, or somebody is taken in, enclosed, and fully guarded. The Commonwealth knows all about this? The same Commonwealth that says the sentence into exile is forever? And freedom from downside is impossible? Many of these details the scribes themselves wish to be kept secret. Former exiles and the leaders of the Commonwealth alike have good like have good incentive to protect, protect those secrets as well. So then, that's it. We climb the mountain, someone goes back, and everyone else stays? For most of those participating in the rites, yes, that's it. But I like your con connotation, and indeed, for us, that isn't it at all, at all. If one of us returns, it shall be just a step along our path. However, let's let that sit for now. Gather your strength. We'll talk again on our way up. Wolfred leaves the rest of you to consider what he said. You have time now for your vocations. At dawn, you shall begin your ascent of Mount Melodia. <laughs> Moderately hot koala. What's up, Darth? Welcome to the stream. All right. Full presence. Hell yeah, dude. Continue my journey. Mount Elodiel, here we come. What'd you make? Did you post something in the Discord? Here before you lies Mount Elodiel, stretching far beyond your line of sight. Somewhere upon this mountain lies the only place from which you can escape the downside. I built a couple of speed champion cars uh, the last couple nights. Your companion... Oh wait, your companions gather around again before Wolfred, who stands as tall as ever. Whether from the cold air or the subject now at hand, you sense the tension in the air. Now then, you all have many questions, no? I've done a lot of talking, so go on. Ask away. But there's only silence. One question stands out in your mind, which you refrain from asking yet. If only one of you is to go free at first, who shall it be? Go on now. Don't be shy. Who first? Questions. Why us? Wow. How come... Wait, her voice doesn't sound right. Why us? Why you indeed, madame? That I can explain. You've seen the sort you stand against as adversaries in the rites. What is it that they want, do you suppose? They want their freedom back, of course. They'll settle for it on the Commonwealth's own terms. They'll gain their freedom and some cushy new responsibilities. Perhaps then they'll have a hand in sending still more exiles here to join us. Think on it. The Commonwealth rose from the ashes of a fallen empire thanks to the efforts of the first exiles who escaped this place via the rites. It is the Commonwealth's first and proudest tradition to honor those who live to redeem their transgressions. They have a certain wisdom, do they not? But as for you, I have been looking for a certain set of dispositions for a good length of time. All I needed was for somebody appropriate to show up and to listen. So, I planted many little eyes and ears throughout this land, whispering hints of this absurd as it may sound. It took someone with a certain faith and creativity to go for it. Then someone proved to be Hedwin over there. He was tasked with seeking two trustworthy allies, as old buried wagon and a reader. An old buried wagon and a reader. He was invited to bring others for the ride, all different sorts. Gather enough help, and he and his friends could be free. Long story, but you know much of the rest. So then, why you? Because I have reason to believe you're not the sort to play right back into the Commonwealth's old hand. The rights, as you have seen, are quite exclusive. You are imposters in this little party. You could be the ones to break it up. Now then, more questions. Your head is beginning to spin. You can excuse yourself or keep listening. I want to know. What's up, Rachel? Welcome to the stream. Posted in art? Hold on. 
What'd you do? Star Wars Mandalorian used for parts. Oh, you, you can't oblige some parts? There's also Masterpiece Luke. X Death Luke's X Wing versus Darth Vader's TIE Fighter Turbo Laser. And yes, they move now with light. That is dope! You got a you got a lighting kit for it? That that's awesome. The lighting kit looks dope. I like the the little red one that's on the base. I didn't I don't even know what that's for, but it, it adds like that little bit of extra flair. That's awesome, dude. Well done. You love the voice I was doing? Thanks. I'm trying to give them all voices. It's getting difficult because there's too many people. But have you played this game, Rachel? I'm enjoying it. Uh, yes, it's important to stay here. Wolford's explanations are a lot to take in, though you feel compelled to absorb as much as what he's willing to tell you at this point. He prompts for further questions when Jadaria raises her voice again. Hold. You mistook my meaning. I understand your plan. Still, I wish to know why us? Why are we, amongst all others, chosen for this liberation rite? On a blooded moon of the fall of Solium, an exile from the prevailing primavera shall go free. The anointed champion then shall then plunge into the shimmer pool and return in glory. So I think we actually lose a team member. What's the benefit of doing that, though? That sounds bad. That sounds like the opposite. I mean, it's... Story-wise, it's good because you're helping free your friend, but gameplay-wise, it sounds like a detriment. Oh, I see. Well, but that is simple, really, madame. You are chosen. You are qualified, I should say, because as the expression goes, is what the scribes ordain. Though, in this case, the expression is quite literally true. When the eight created the rites, each of them took anointed certain other exiles that participate on their behalf. Exiles who showed some promise of redemption. The triumphants they formed have stood the test of time, replenishing their numbers as their individuals moved on or passed on. You've met them as they are today. The accusers, the withdrawn, and so on. Did I not do the accusers? Why is that one flashing? A vindictive triumvirate that conducted many liberation rites in the past, but seldom prevailed, led by the nomad Lendl the Liar. The eight scribes also formed a special group, against which all the others would be judged. That group they called the Nightwings. You bear their books, wear their masks and raiments. You need but show up to the rites, you see. The others erstwhile jockey for posi position for a chance to take you on. Yeah, well, what if we don't? What if we don't show up? Then you would deny yourselves a chance at freedom and deny it also to your adversaries. Victory means nothing in a common right, then. Participation is all that matters? Not so, madame. Only the enlightened may regain their freedom. While failure can be an excellent teacher, the scribes do favor the victor. So, you see, those who do not conduct the rites or do not prevail in them sufficiently, they may find themselves barred from their liberation rites. But these are technicalities. The Nightwings disbanded years ago. Since then, no one has gone free. Yet, still the other triumvirates pressed on with fleeting hope that they one day you'd be back. It's been a heavy price to pay in all of this. Now, if you excuse me, we'll talk again some other time. So the Enlightened Bar... Is that the Enlightenment that he's talking about? Because if it is, CRAP! I've been leveling up the people I like. And that means they're going to be the first ones to go away. That's the exhaust part that Luke had to fire his torpedo. Oh, yeah, that's right. What kind of John is Jada? Jada's a pit bull. She's a sweet bean. You like that voice? Yeah, I, I didn't know what voice to give him. I had used up pretty much all my other voices before, so I had to go weird with the, the voice modulator. <laughs> Might have to make some with the voice mod plugin. Make some like hot buttons. I haven't done a story game like this. There, I needed to voice multiple characters in a while. 
I didn't have it prepped. I didn't expect... I kind of thought this game would be voice acted. Um, kind of like Hades, but it, it is not, so... Also, I didn't know re realize it would be so narrative heavy, which is fine, because it's great. Some murmur to themselves all about this as Volfred Lee takes his leave. Others recon... recon I don't know how to, what that word is. Reconnoiter? Reconnoiter? Others reconnoiter paths beating up the mountain and present you with some options. Oh, here we go. Ray believes the eight scribes will bless whoever goes here. Hell yeah. Gap through the nameless lower summits beneath Mount Elodial. Tamitha expects some long lost valuables, valuables to be stashed here. Pathway on the outskirts of Mount Elodial's nameless. I need money. And also, so we know how buffs work. I want to help Tamitha. We haven't done anything with her. She's, I really like her as a character, but I'm not, I'm not good with her playstyle. You joined Pamatha on her brief expedition to find anything of value dropped by those who tried to scale a mountain but did not succeed. Oh? Jodariel's coming in. Wait, I shall be joining you. Wait, but now I get two chaperones? But sure, I'm game. Whatever you winglies are into. Be silent, little bird, and fetch those trinkets to be done. My, so full of bitterness. You really ought to make the most of those these last precious moments that we share. And you ought not to mince your words. Oh, please. You all know you're going to be the first one out of here. Oh, we all know. Because she has the highest, uh... She has my highest... Uh, enlightenment. We all know you're going to be the first one out of here. So why not quit your constant frowning for a change? I... The first one out of here. Of course. It's plain the others pity you. You've been here longer than the rest of us by far. Besides, maybe that Volfred, though he seems plenty happy here, making his speeches. How dare you? How dare you presume? Nothing is decided as of yet. Oh, no doubt, no doubt. Oh, if by some coincidence you do end up selected for the honor, I just want you to know something. Please don't be a bitch, I like you. I truly, from the bottom of my heart, do hope we shall prevail on your behalf. Hell yeah! Because that way, we shall you shall be free. Of me, at least. And I, in turn, shan't have to suffer any longer your hideous attitude toward me and everything. Oh shit, she is sassy with her words. At that, you intervene. Jodario's eyes burn with fury, but then she calms herself. I shall see you at the wagon, reader. <laughs> Amethyst scoffs at Jodario storms off. Oh, come on! I swear that one. Well, moving on, there's something sparkling down here. Be right back. She swoops out of sight, leaving you alone there on the mountain. Tamatha soon returns with something that lay long forgotten in the rocks below. Ooh. When preparing to fling the orb, the bearer's charge speed. Oh, that sounds amazing. This flinging sucks. Although I'm not a big fan of that as a thingy. First, the two paths leading to the mountain summit. Hedwin expressed a passing whim to see the view from here. Second, the two paths. Sir Gilman wishes to look upon the sacred waters. I want to see the view. You and Hedwin walk in silence for some time as he conducts a customary survey of the area. Well, my friend. No sign of howlers, as Jody would say. No sign of anything at all. Ari! Welcome to the stream! How you doing, friend? You just got home from Costco three hours ago. How are you feeling? Costco? Holy crap! It is late, dude. You did some late shopping. Although I'm proud of you for doing what you needed to do. How you doing, friendo? It's good to see you. Sorry, my uh, my headset was dying, so had to had to switch it up. You sense something is troubling him. Oh, that it's just I've been giving lots of thought to everything that Wolfred told us. In another couple days, one of us may be gone all of a sudden, or I, I don't mean to put it that way. One of us could go free. We're on our way back one by one. He said, "I want you to know something. 
the others and I, we talked it over, and when the time comes, we want you to decide. Decide who gets to go, if anyone. This might be all part of Wolfred's plan, but we got here thanks to you. And even though I'm worrying right now about splitting us up, I guess if Wolfred has his way, all of us will meet up on the other side. And won't that, that won't and won't that be a day? Worst case, we keep failing in the rights and be stuck down here together just like this. The two of you walk in silence for a time. When at last you return to the wagon, Headwind turns to you again. Thanks for the company. I think I'm better now. Hell yeah. Alright, we might bring him in for the next right. Oh, and he leveled up! Yo! Oh. I used to think the scribes were just the stuff of stories, but all of this, this really is their doing, isn't it? Alright, let's get you an upgrade. I'm alright, struggling with a new diet. But, you know, we make an A. Every day, step at a time, right? But, yes, please do take care of yourself. Ugh, excuse me. While bearing the orb, Headwind and his allies move with and pass the orb more quickly. Ooh! Headwind and his allies may instantly return banished allies by moving to where they fell. Oh! That's nasty! That has potential to be nasty. Because if the orb is bigger and they run into them, and they kill them, could be huge and then resummon like Dodario. Oh, you and your companions gather at Scribe's Gate, where the single narrow trail to the summit narrows even more and falls under an archway carved of stone. Oh, it's him, he's over there now. Okay, come along now, everyone, and be prepared to speak your mind when you are called. Frankly, most of you still lack enlightenment, but we may pass together much how we act as with a single heart and mind during the rites. Well, then. Lead onward, Tarek. Please, follow me. Are you a scribe? Oh, he took off his hat. Removing his hat, the lone minstrel approaches the gate. You and all the others follow. Whoa, who are you? When the last of your com companions nears the arch, you notice some someone standing high above, who, appear who then appears before you. She eyes the lone minstrel first. Ooh, you're cool. Is that you, Tariq? Tarek, whatever. It is. Greetings, Celeste. And how and how was your rest? Too long, Celeste. She watches over the scribe's gate. It seems to be connected to the lone minstrel on the rights. It seems your work has piled up in the meantime. You bring this many to the gate. Aye. Then let's make this quick. She gestures towards the rest of you. Now. Each of you, in turn, state who you are and what you seek whilst crossing Scribe's Gate. Do as she says, please, without questioning. Your fellow exiles exchange glances but quickly comply. I'll start. They call me Hedwin the Deserter. I've come here seeking freedom for myself and my companions. In my case, I can return to be with one whom I love. The woman bids him forward. The lone Winchell prompts Rookie to speak up next. Hey, uh, I am regarded by the name of Rookie Greentail. I just wanted to get out of here. I guess with my chums, preferably. Go back. Go see Mama back home. Hell yeah. I am Captain Jodario. I do not truly know as yet what I am seeking here. Oh, my name is Ray. And I am here, I think, because the scribes have called to me. It must be them, because if not, then who? The boy! <laughs> Shit, I didn't read what he was saying. Fuck. I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. Sir Gilman of the Deep Sea Dominion, at your service. This knight is on a quest to find his honor. He lost it at a certain point. I'm a Thessane. I'm only here because my sister's here. And as Wolfred steps forward, the one called Celeste raises her voice. You. Oh, that's the wrong voice. You. I recognize you from the night wings of the past. You were not clad in the rain mints any longer. I would know why. I had my chance already. The Nightwings that now stand before you. I travel with them as a pilgrim now. I see. Then state why you are here, as have the others. 
My name is Volfred Sandalwood. I seek liberty for each of us, so that one day we all might stand shoulder to shoulder on the other side and bring fair freedom to the people there. She waves him by. Then she turns to you, where there's no one left to go. Why am I here? Say why you're here. I'm a crippled scholar. I'm an old farmhand. I'm a war orphan. I don't know who I am. Try as you might, you cannot make out the details of what life was like at the Commonwealth. I don't know who I am. Band. What's up, Johnson? Welcome to the stream. You love this game. Oh, cool. You might be able to answer some questions. I've never played before. And it's very interesting. It's like 90% reading. But the story's cool. And I like the characters. How you doing, my dude? Good to see you. You cannot for the life of you recall in time before arriving at the downside. Details of the Commonwealth are scarce within your mind. Perhaps you wanted to forget the place. The one called Celeste continues to examine you, expecting you to add to your response. State also why you truly seek to traverse Scribesgate. Well, yeah, that's I said that earlier. Uh, I, the only reason I'm continuing is because I want to help my friends. My camera is lagging out. I want to help my friends. You wish to do whatever it takes to see your fellow exiles remain or regain their freedom. Absolutely. The companions you have met here who have helped you to survive and to find kinship in the downside or downside, your priority is to ensure that they achieve their goal. That is all you wish for now. The woman, woman regards, I can't say her, that the woman regards you for a time, then nods once and waves you all of you by. He scribes to the Nightwings welcome here. Go forth with glory. And Tarek? Aye, Celeste. Young away as well. Dude, she is so stinking pretty. Look at that hair. The lone Minchel bows his head and puts his hat back. He does not look back at her. Are those two scribes? Matches pick up once you get a hefty dose of story. Yeah, so I, I think we're actually about to hit a key moment in the story because I can release a friend now. Which is sounds like a, I said um, not too long ago. Story-wise, hell yeah, we release a friend, but gameplay-wise, shit, I lose a friend. You know? From the top of Mount Elodial, you can see the distant downside before you. You think on the many thousand leagues you cross to reach this point as the sky grows dim. Page revealed. Ooh. Aha! She's like my favorite character, by the way. She's awesome. Look how cool she looks. Jodario appears to be prepared for whatever is come this night. Though it is not yet dark, she is already in her raiments. Edwin soon joins her, soon joins her, also looking ready. Any sign of Rookie? None as of yet. Complained about a cra chafing at the collar of his mask. Our freedom might be hinging on that collar then. I am certain that it is. They share a laughter together. She laughed! Amazing. The three of you exchange glances, but nothing is said or needs to be said. Soon, if Wolfred is to be believed, one of your companions may regain his or her freedom. Hey, what did I miss? Am I late? It is starting. Is, is it starting yet? Easy, Rookie. We got a little time. It isn't starting yet. How fair your struggles with your mask, Green Tail? Feeling a lot better, thanks. I just had to smash it repeatedly against the wall for a little bit. Put some of the old nerves to bed. Put some of the old nerves to bed there for good measure. So it really... So... This is really happening. Oh, that's him. The, the animation distracted me that he was still speaking. So, this is really happening, huh? One of us might be getting out of here. Like, soon. None of you are enlightened. I don't think any of you are. By dawn, in fact, if all goes well. If all goes well? That's one way to look at it, I guess. There's a shiny thing in there. What are you getting at, Green Tail? Well, it's just... Uh, we might be breaking up the band here, people. If one of us gets out, that's been bugging me a while now. I thought we were all getting out of here at once. He shoots a look at you. Some of us, we thought night might not be getting out of here at all. And then slams his fist against the wall. Oh shit, they knew. No, not if I can help it. We made a promise to each other, each of us. The four of us. We're all getting out of here. The music picked up just like perfectly. Just, just a smidge but it just ramped up like the intensity ever so slightly. Mm. Super giant. I love your games. I care about the others too. I do, but we've been here from the start. 
I want you to know my promises to you, and I believe you'll do the same for me. So it's like this. If any one of us gets out, great, but it's just the start. We're going to do whatever it takes to get there on the other side to make it so the rest of us can get back too. What do you think? They're going to build a bridge down here if we ask nice or something? I don't know what it's going to take. I just know we have to try. Jodariel turns to you. Uh-oh. Rita, we shall find a way. She nods to reassure you and to reassure herself. Rookie nods his head in turn, and Hedwin's gaze never once falters. Well, my friends, I think it's about time. Let's go. One by one, they turn towards the door. The fall of Solium awaits, a vital step in your quest for freedom. Yet you feel in your heart that it shall only be the, the first. Your three companions each gain one hope for the liberation right. Nice. Steal yourself in turn. Riverfrost, so cold it can burn the skin, but keeps the wagon cool and food fresh longer. Keeps her from... Oh, I got a keepsake. That's nice. The Imp Ha'ub and I, we helped to save my Emperor. And when the danger did subside, my Emperor solely in Mur, he said something to me, which shook me to the essence of my, essence of my being. He said, You gave your freedom, Master Gotholon... Gotholon... Oh, the last... Golasanian. Golasanian? Jeez. Oh, so that I may have yet have mine. You two now are an exile of the downside. In all the days which I have left, I could never repair the mercy, repay the mercy you have shown me. So if I cannot do this in, in life, then I shall do it in the next. We crossed the land together, and together with the imp, we gained the company of those who saw in him and what I did. Are we in a, a cycle? Like of the same... Are we like having a... Not a resurrection, uh, reincarnation kind of cycle. I mean, the tree guy kind of alluded to that, but more in terms of, like, the groups. Not in terms of the people. Hmm. Hey, buddy. Hi, guys, that's just your where? I know, how come you're here? How come you made it all the way up here? Oh, I know, all right. Because I got the lowest prices and all the downside, am I right? And some of the new stuff I got in stock, you're gonna get a lot of value here, an awful lot. I have no money. Yeah, new stuff though. What is this? Scribe snuff. Unlearn any masteries. Oh, that's the, the reset. Ooh, I can buy that. That's how you get a repeat customer there, Dad. You give them a deal. Okay. He is funny. I love him. Is everyone prepared, Hedwin? Yes. Though so several of us have another question that's been troubling us. You need not ask. You said that one of us is going to return to the Commonwealth if we defeat the Tempers and the Rites this night. What happens if we fail? Hedwin, my boy, don't you see? The path to freedom and the path to enlightenment are one and the same. Do you intend to stray from the path? No. Then you have nothing to fear. But let me be much more upfront with you. Should you be defeated by the Tempers this night, then one of them shall end up going free, instead of one of you. It is as simple as that. What, then, is to be done? The very same as if we achieve victory, we await our next such opportunity and make the most of it. Tonight, our plan is set in motion. We are, we are united in our cause. We shall look as ever toward the stars for guidance and seize upon our future chances just as they arise. So, look up, my boy, and set aside your doubts. It is time to take great strides along the path. Is it going to pick my characters for me? Strange shall continue regardless of the outcome of this or any right. You need to see it through. Okay. Many years have passed since last the Night Wings gained the summit of the Sacred Mountain and stood upon the fall of Sarah. You are to be commended for your guidance, Rita. But only if you can prevail in this liberation right. Here you stand to gain much more than some enlightenment. Your adversaries are none other than the Tempers. 
I trust they need no introduction. Soon, one among you shall regain their freedom. Is it you? Are you one of the tempers? I hope not. The pie has burned in each of the triumphants is present and prepared. I can go. The pyre is burning. Each of the triumvirates is present and prepared. Oh, they're representatives. Then, anointed one of the tempers. Come forth now and declare yourself and pay any respects you have unto your adversaries, the night wings. Oh! Hey, buddy. A massive deacon, demon swaggers into view. He reaches for his mask. Is that Ignarius? Is that his name? Yo! Look at this little goofy looking motherfucker. With his. What is that? A pompadour? A from brow? What, what is that hairstyle called? You know who I am already. But look at what we got here. The damned Nightwings decided to show up. Almost figured we were never going to see the day again. He takes notice of someone in your ranks. Don't you dare call out Jodario. I'll fuck you up. Hey, you. He indicates Jodar Jodario. She scoffs back at him. Lose the mask. Ain't seen one of our own in ages, not in these damned robes. Jodarius hesitation is almost imperceivable. Imperceive imperceptible, there it is. Before she moves to remove her mask, just as her adversary asks. Satisfied. Oh, she's so cool! Whoa, you must be new. Jodarius soon puts her mask back on. Enough talk. Uh, oops. Uh, I like you, Curly Hoards. Tell you what. Once we put out, put out your lights, you come along with these guys. We're going to have a spot open. Only shame is I ain't going to be around to show you a good time. Oh, fuck you. I should rather cut off my tongue. Oh, you don't mean that. Our kind, we ought to stick together. Now, come on. Ignarius throws his mask back on it as his allies snarl at the rest of you. I didn't want to ink with the... The audio, because I don't think we're going to see him much, much, so. Have the night... Have the night wings reached a decision on whose behalf they shall conduct the right. The lone Mitchell gets your attention in his subtle way. Rita, this is it. The first companion whom you choose shall be anointed to go free this very night if you prevail. Oh, that sucks, because I like starting with Jodario, because it puts her closer up. Shit. The other two in the triumvirate shall lend their aid. As you may know, only the most enlightened of the rites are eligible to go free. Not all among you may be ready yet. Now, Nightwings, I would have your decision. Shit! Oh, I don't want to lose a friend. Preparation chose who would go free. What if I just get rid of the guys I don't care about? Like that guy. Unworthy! Oh. Oh no. Wait, why is he unworthy? He has more enlightenment than, um, he has more enlightenment than her. 2600. No, she doesn't. But it's like at the same level. I'm confused and Um I don't want to get rid of Jodariel. She's awesome. Oh, I don't want to get rid of one of my friends, man. All right, Ray. Ray. Oh, me, me. I get to go home, but these scribes, what if they still want me to stay? Then the great guardian looks upon you and your adversaries. Very well, then. Then under the watch of the eight scribes, here are the stakes of this eve's liberation rite. Should the night wings prevail, the one called Ray the Wretched shall be liberated. Should the tempers prevail, 
The exile, Ignarius, shall go free instead. He then turns to you. Now, go along the Nightwing shall complete the triumvirate. You strive alongside Ray the Wretch and see her and return to glory. Who shall be at her side? Okay, um... Jahari... <laughs> She's so cool! Maybe I, should, oh, maybe I should play as these other people to get them out. Yeah? Yeah, sure, no pressure, right, chum? Um, let's do... Her as well. I haven't played her. You got it, Rita, darling. Hell yeah, dude! Very well. It, oh. Very well. The eight scribes accept your choice. Reader of the Night Wings. He then indicates he's a lone minstrel. Now, are you yourself prepared, Tarek? Aye, Celeste. Then let us begin. Oh, she's the the reader, huh? Night Wings. Been waiting an awful long time to get out of this hellhole. Try and stop me. I'm about to get fucked. Actually, I don't know how to play with this team, so I'm scared, actually. Get fucked. Oh, the music is dope. Oh, that was bad. Get fucked. Woo! No! Yo, we did it! One shot. Oh my god, they have more life than me. That's unfair. I meant to jump. Shit. Fuck you. Oh, shit. Oh, I picked it up on accident. That's not good. Get fucked. Woo! And dunked! She doing work. The music's dope. Whoa, what was that? You missed! Oh, get dogged with the flyer! That was dope. She almost got me, though. That was scary. Shit! Oh, I thought I got away. I almost did. Oh, barely got him. Here we go, here we go, here we go! Time for the dunk! Oh! We kicking ass, bro. Although, I got a lot, bunch of little, like, little babies. We'll get wrecked. Nope. Oh, dick. Doing your dash. I'm flying. Get dunked. Yeah, sit down, stupid. You good for nothing, night wings. Skip out on us for years and years and show up all of a sudden like you're gonna let get somebody out for once. And now we gotta work for it, I guess. Damn it. I used to be the best at this at least, but now the pressure's getting to me. Can't believe it's getting to me. Uh Moira. I doubt even you could recognize me anyway. Come on, Nightwings. Let's see you keep this up. Alright. Oh shit, this is bad. No, that was the wrong button. And... Zippy boy! Oh, oh, oh! That one didn't end well. Wait, I can't. You, they locked one of me out. Shit. Oh, no! Why can't I score? I went through it! That's unfair! Look at the little spermy boy. Oh, now I can score. They like locked it out. That was annoying. No. Oh, I thought I blocked him. Yeah, I'm gonna. Nope. Got him. No. Oh, that got me, bro. Got him! Yes! 
It vanished, bro. Nope. Oh, his wind-up time sucks. No. Oh, they scored. Yikes. Fuck. Oh, we got each other. That sucked. No. Jumpy little sperm boy. Don't jump. Don't. Dicks. Woo. Oh, no. Dicks. Why can't I move? Score! Oh. No! It didn't count! Uncool. Yeah, you're trying to jump. Stop. Go, 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 go! Squish! Oh, come on! I need five more, bro! Wait, how, how did you catch it? Yes, go, go. Come over here, watch what happens. No, 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 no! No, come on, I had it. That's uncool. Oh, I forgot she could do that. That was dope. Be gone. Ah. No. Oh, dicks. I need the money or the the thing. Extinguish now their fire. Oh. Boom! Got it. Finally. God, that was so hard with people that score very small damage. Who? As for their adversaries, they did not. Oh, we gotta go say goodbye to Gray now. That's a bummer. The liberation right. And thus, the scribes have chosen. The exile appointed by the Nightwings shall be free. Absolved of all misdeeds. Return what kind of misdeeds could Ray have done? She's precious. Her adversary and all others shall remain to carry out their rightful sentences. What a joke. We should have had this. You should have had this. Got all rusty. You've been waiting so damn long. Damn it. Damn it. Wait, are you going to join my team now? Night Wings. Be seeing you around, I guess. And next time, you ain't going to be so lucky. Excuse me. I apologize. Oh, look at her nice little robes. I can go home. I think this means I can go home. She shuts her eyes. By the scribes. By the scribes. What, what will happen now to you? To all of you? Can you not come with me? No. No, they say not yet. The scribes, they say not yet. Although, I think your time will come. Your time will come. And I will wait for you. Because... I don't have friends back home, at least. And didn't used to, so... I want you to come join me there, okay? See, that's why I didn't want to free her, because she would be all alone. But now, the scribes are calling me, so... Goodbye. Although she's very cheery, so... Make friends or something. She falls into a shimmering pool, then, and she's gone. Goodbye. And please, those scribes, watch over them, okay? Aww. I'm both happy and sad. The eight scribes are ever merciful. By their grace, the cycle of the rites may soon commence again. Hey, he actually leveled up. See that, chums? Old rookie Greentail's got some bite in him yet. Ooh, what are we gonna do for you? Rookie can second jump. Time while airborne. Rookie deals an additional five when plunging into the adversary's pyre. Yes. 
Because you do shit damage, bro. Oh yeah, I forgot I played with you. Sick! Well, Tamitha, soon I'll be catching up with you at this. Whether you like it or not. Alright, what do you got? While flying, Tamitha moves faster than usual. Could be great. For five seconds after banishing an adversary, she moves faster than usual. Damn, dude. Can trigger an aura burst that banishes nearby adversaries. Oh. While she's banished, while Wing Fury's effect is active, she returns twice quickly. Tamitha permanently gains plus four quickness to presence and hope, making her better all around. After saluting her adversaries, Pamitha instantly switches places with her nearest ally. Whoa. Dude, the, the saluting thing is actually technically like a taunt. But that looks... That's, that's like really risky. Pamitha can use her dash ability in rapid succession and for less stamina. Pamitha permanently gains eight quickness, making her move much faster. Sure. Get her some speed. I mean, she's already pretty fast, but... Until the rights begin anew. Liberation rights let you let your exiles or your adversaries return to freedom. Looks to the stars for the next such opportunity. Okay, so I feel like that's like the end of the global gameplay loop or something. So we're going to see what happens next. After your victory over the tempers and the liberation rate, you return to your ragon to decide how to proceed from here. Hard to believe Ray's gone. Well, look on the bright side. It's one less mouth to feed. We'll see Ray again if we persevere. Our journey's now begun in earnest. We'll just need to make a few last preparations while we're here. What about the stars? Can we afford the time? About that. Reader, go see for yourself. The night sky over Mount Elodial is much darker than you would have expected. Your thoughts are with Ray as you look toward the heavens. I swear it like zooms in more and more and it gets harder to see where I'm supposed to go. You search, oh, you search and search the sky, but in vain, no stars are shining right now. That would be why I couldn't find it. The stars revealed nothing, did they not? You confirm his suspicions. It's as the book foretells. This is the chance we need to make ready for what lies ahead. There's a haven south of here we'll travel to at dawn. And when the stars decide to shine for us again, we'll be ready. Mark my words. Interesting. Hey, please don't be mad that I'm not freeing you because you're my favorite. Sometime after the liberation, right, you find Jodariel staring at the wagon's walls. Plus, we all want to stay together, you said, right? Little brother. Should, should we call it, Reader? Wait, what? Because you're talking about Ray called the, the wagon little brother? This wagon was one of the girl's only friends in this world. Now they are part. She will be mournful by tomorrow, I should think. She lets out a sigh. That girl had nothing in the Commonwealth. Life in the downside is scarce worth living on most days, except for one such as she, I fear it may have served her better to remain within our care. Don't make me feel bad, I already did! I saw all of that. Within my care. Oh, she does care! She trails off for a while. The orphans of the fallen veterans with whom I served back in the blood border. She reminded me a lot of them in certain ways. They each were very strong in their own right often wiser than suggested by their youth. Thus, I do not know the source of my concern. I trust Ray will, shall continue to survive. My hope, however, is that she achieves something more, that she should find her place in that society this time. Perhaps she shall be instrumental to the plan of ours yet. But with her constant prattling about the scribes, who can say the people here may listen? Either way, we managed to see her return. May those of us united in our cause continue to support each other here, as well as on the other side. Jodariel mm. nods at you and salute. I'm see? Awesome. I don't want to get rid of you because you're awesome. Thank you, reader. Rest well this night, and I shall see you in the morning's light. 
She retires for the evening. You sense that she's feeling better about Ray's prospects, having talked through her thoughts with you. I like Jadariel. She's fucking cool. I'm be very sad when she leaves. Good morning, my boy. The place I noted earlier. Let me illuminate the way. Moonlight Alcove. Wolford indicates you wait. You can wait the next cycle of the rights here. All right. Look at the little star over here. A little green star. Looks like a delicious star fruit. Wolford leads you, leads all of you into a calm and quiet clearing tucked away inside one of the mountain's hidden folds. All about, you see a variety of strange items and equipment. Oh, wait, what? Like, stuff I can pick up? A reasonable likeness of young, younger... Oh, that's... I was highlighting over the bag and I was confused as it was talking about the portrait. Alright, what do you got to say, Wolf Wolfred? You find Wolfred seemingly lost in thought, but then he turns to you. Greetings, Rita. This wagon and I, we have many, we've many memories together, and I cannot help reliving some of them just now. I suppose some aspects of my past may be of relevance to you, given your role. If there's something you wish to know, you need but ask. Um... How do you know about the Lone Minstrel? You asked Wolfred about his history with the Lone Minstrel, whom he seems to know quite well. Tarek was there with the Nightlings when they took me on. His manner has always been much as you've seen. Although he is somewhat more cheerful now than I recall back then, if you can believe that, I think our plan has sparked a little fire in him. He serves the Rites and the Nightwings. I've tried to ask him of his past before, but he seems rather reluctant to speak of it. Though it is plain that he's not far from around here. This being the downside, I respect his wishes for some privacy. Nonetheless, although I do not know much, too much of him, I count him as a friend. I lost talk of him for some time, though it was he who first informed me that the Nightwings had returned. He and Tizo were instrumental in our meeting. It's been good to see him doing relatively well. Anyways, was there anything else you wished to talk to about? Uh, why were they disbanded? You expressed interest in knowing more of how the Nightwings came to be and Wolfred's past connection to the group. I have been connected to the Nightwings almost since the beginning of my days in exile. They found me, in a manner or as I understand, quite like how Hedwin and the others found you. Back then, it was a smaller group than what we have now. I joined an exile called Arisa, and another known as Orlek. Arisa? Former exile of the Nightwings who conducted the rites alongside Wolfred and Orlek. Yeah, he just says the same thing. Once in a while, we let little Tizo stand with us as well. He is rather older than he looks. The other triumvirates we stood against, they feared us. Only the Tempers presented any threat to us in any given right. But there was a terrible accident. Arisa we lost, and Orelect. He was my friend. He, he fr fell from out Elodio. We lost him as well. On the night when he was set to be free, we were reckless, hasty. And I was powerless to stop any of it. I blamed the rights themselves, the circumstances that put us into danger. The downside has claimed many lives, yet this, it was too much. I vowed never again to don the mask and raiments. I had the black wagon cleared and buried, such that it could not be used again. If the night wings would rise again, it would be under different circumstances, under new leadership, and toward a different purpose. That is all I wish to say of this, my boy. Did he do to earn his sentence? I don't want to ask about that. I don't want to ask about that. Has to be excused. Everyone has their own business. You think Volfred for his time and bid him his good rest of this afternoon. Likewise to you, reader. You will. Thanks, bud. All right. Oh, snap. Everyone, the amenities are modest here at the Moonlight Alcove, but I suggest that you get comfortable. We may be here for some time. Moonlight Alcove. 
small landing on the dark side of the sacred mountain. For many years, Volfer had smuggled supplies and furnishings to this well-hidden local the locale. Oh, that's the sound in this music. I thought Jada was slurping on herself. As for myself, I have some bit business to attend to. Please leave the wagon in my care for now. I shall be ready for... It should be ready by the time you need it next. From the mountaintop, you can see all across downside. It's impossible expanse staring back at you. The thought occurs to you that you may never see another land beside it. And so you and your companions wait upon the mountaintop in quiet solitude, anticipating when the next cycle of the rites begin to turn again. Then you shall have another opportunity to free one of your own. You may earn back their freedom one by one. Many moons passed, and one evening... Yeah, I have a moment, reader. The lone will find you poring over the Book of Rites, as has been learning... As has been for learning through your stay at this boat. Why couldn't I have been, like, training my friends during this whole time? Begging your pardon, but there is something you may wish to see. Please follow me. You follow him to the, to the cold night. Look forth, reader, sir. The stars shine like you have never seen. Once more, the path towards salvation is revealed, but now something is different. The star shines once more. Oh! Well, that's a black hole. Each prior time you searched the stars, they showed you to a single path, but now several rites avail themselves to you at once. Whoa. Henceforth, you may choose from several different rites. Whoa. Shit. Um, so it looks like we can go back to the areas we came. So I can take, I can figure out what paths and stuff I didn't take. So that means I should, I should go to the, the area that we went to before that had the water and see if we can get um, Tizo to fish. Right? That sounds smart. Um, that sounds smart. But, my friends, this is where I'm going to have to call it because I am at stream time for the night. Um, and I'm going to try to go to get some sleep. It's Wednesday, right? Uh, so tomorrow, um, the plan was to play some possibly Eldest Souls tomorrow. Um... But I don't know. I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of feeling this game. I'm enjoying it. I might look up how long it takes to beat this game, and if it's soon, then yeah, we'll absolutely play tomorrow. Um, but if it's got you know like four or like six more hours or something, maybe we'll play Elder Souls and then play this another more little another time. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. Um, but if you guys are not part of the Discord yet, um, feel free to join that up. We are doing a watch party of. Legend of Vox Machina uh, sometime this weekend. Don't know which day yet because Saturday I have to be up stupid early to take my sister to the airport. Um, so I may be too wiped out, but um, it is, it's a wonderful show. So if you guys haven't seen it, um, I highly recommend it. Um, what else is coming up? We'll be back to God of War Ragnarok uh, starting next week. And uh, cause since we're on break week this week, but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Let's see, uh, let's see if we can go send some love to a fellow streaminator, shall we? Who's streaming? Who we got streaminating? Who's we got live and streaminating? Ah, come on, browser. Hey, stop. Stop it. Relax. Oh, crap. I opened my, um, okay, well. But chat is still over there. I suppose that's a good thing. But uh, my chat disappeared. There we go. Um, let's see. Come on. Moira is live. We love us some Moira. Um, Fiasar is playing Cyberpunk. Caitlin's playing Resident Evil 2. Moira's playing Overwatch 2. Uh, Galley is playing Super Mario Galaxy. Okami is playing Hades. Oh, love me some Hades. What do you guys want to see? Did any of those sound amazing? When's the last time that we raided, uh, Moira? I don't think we've raided lead in a while. At least not that I remember. You guys know how this works. Let's get some of those raid messages out and ready. There we go. Uh, so if you are a sub, there's a sub message. If there's not a sub, 
Feel free to use any other message you have or that one that is there. Uh, quick for your convenience, but let's go read Moira. Moira's sugar baby. Super cool dude. Um, lovely man. I love him. Um, he's been part of the community for a while, and uh, let's go give him some love uh, playing some Overwatch. Appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Remember to spay new to your pets, adopt, don't shop, donate to rescue if you can afford it, or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. It's a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and rest of the out that are very much in need. Anyways, I'm Vasive. Thank you so, guys so much for letting me be your streamer tonight. I heavily appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys next time. See ya. Hey, yeah. yeah, wake up. Yeah, let's go get the foodies. Let's go. Keep burning